Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> welcome to another J Talks podcast. This is the most loaded one we've ever had by far. Um, <laughs> we're missing one. We're missing John, but let's be honest, he's he's done. But, um, <laughs> he's done. He but, um, John never we have when I'm here. we have uh, <laughs> fellow YouTubers Wildcat hey. and Tommy AK seven zero one. We have former. Um, well, we all know she's a former homecoming queen, but again, I'm gonna say it, uh, Leah. <laughs> and very the newest guest we have Sam. By the way, the they're both my uh, classmates. Well, they're not in any of my classes, but they're I'm in the your same cop college. Class. Oh yeah, you're in my cop class, but yeah. You idiot! But, um, <laughs> I messaged you during class. Oh yeah, that's true. You did. <laughs> wow. Um, <laughs> Shade, I feel right there. I'm not in a university, but I'm in a community. Busy. But um, uh, for everyone that loves sports, just tune out now. Is there gonna be any sports today? Um. Oh shit! And for y'all that love sports, actually, it might be a little bit of sports, but not like as in depth, because you know. Understandable. Yeah, but um. We got a lot of conspiratorial topics, so oh, shit. I know y'all, everyone that likes, uh, you know, to deep, deep conversations better stay tuned. But uh, before we start, I best, I, I guess I should ask everyone, how's everyone been since uh, just in general? Uh, I, I guess I'll go first. Uh, I'm doing pretty <laughs> good. Um, I'm chilling, traveling, adventures, you know, doing me. Uh, how you doing, Wildcat? Sorry, one sec. Give me one sec. My phone just died on me. Right How now. you doing, Leia? <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing I'm good. Is, yeah. <laughs> Not even gonna lie. Excuse me for a second. I gotta check my phone real quick. Right. What? Yesterday was kind of stupid, but you know we're past that. So well, I, yeah, mm-hmm. I think a little sus right now. What's up? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's just school. Uh, oh yeah, I feel you. Yesterday. I'm sure Sam feels the same. How you been? Yeah, only only school and procrastinating like so much, honestly. Uh, yeah, it's <laughs> definitely that's all of us online in college. Dude, Procrast- I'm a procrastination yeah. wizard. Procrastination all day long. Procrastination nation. Yeah. <laughs> procrastination nation. <laughs> <laughs> I guess Wildcat, how you been? You're the last one. Well I am, but after you I'll go. Yeah, it's fun. Uh today's been pretty good so far. Um I am actually back in San Diego for right now, but I got oh, shit. Tomorrow. Yeah, I would stay stay. Well, maybe I might if the Lakers win tomorrow. We're gonna make shit happen. I'm just kidding. Yeah, if that'd be dope because I actually, I actually can't stay excited, but I'll have to see because if everything goes well, because my engine light just came on today on my car, so and when that happens. Yeah, I really don't want to take the risk. If it's still fucked up, I'm gonna go to McCann tomorrow and get checked out. Yeah. But I got my new retainer for my Invisalign. That was just dope. Yeah, so so far it's been so pretty good. Subscriber accounts, and we're about to hit 2K soon. So I'm hoping I saw that. I was like, oh yeah. shit! And you're, I just I just saw your account too. You're about to hit 100. I'm almost almost 900, almost 9 1K. Almost we're about to get you there, man. Yeah, grinding, yeah. man. But mm-hmm. um, as far as me, just same old shit. You know, school being a drag. What a drag. I'm what just a kidding. drag. But uh, <laughs> but um, you guys will never understand what I went through. You guys are getting <laughs> the easy route. Yeah, that's, that is, that is I fucking true. Fucking hate you guys. <laughs> Easiest um, semester. Just grinding on uh, YouTube, trying to. Well, for everyone that watches me, they know I do a lot of combat sports shit, trying to expand my knowledge. And uh, knowledge. yeah, that's what we've been doing. But like I said, if you're still watching, <clears throat> we're doing a lot of ant non sports related topics. So um, the first one, I guess, is a good one. How has COVID uh, been affecting all of you? Terrible Anyone night. start? Terrible day. Uh, Terrible day. Uh, I guess I'll go. Um, COVID has affected me severely because <laughs> the gym was closed for a fat minute. Oh, uh, yeah. Was fat and lazy yeah. again. Yeah. Toilet paper is out all the time. I can't even wipe my own ass anymore. I had to get the leaves <laughs> in the backyard. <laughs> the leaves. Paper towels, man. And and I'm just going to ask you. TMI. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but, TMI. Uh, and uh, another thing is everything is closed, which made it harder to have fun. Which didn't stop. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> but I mean, and then everything's online. But that's the only way it really affected me. I still kind of. Yeah. But that's whatever. <laughs> Anyone else want to go? <laughs> mm-hmm. mm, anyone can go next. Anyone's up? No. <laughs> <laughs> want me to go? I'm scared. Yes. Unless you okay. guys are muted. <laughs> All right, how affected you, Jimmy? All right. Um, well, one thing I'm pretty sure Sam and Leah can agree you saved us money on transportation. Oh, yeah. um, we don't have to go to school every day. Um, what else? True. Um, more bullshit in school. They like act, uh, expect more from us when we're not even there. I'm like, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I don't know, I'm not with you. Um, yeah, they just expect more. They like, think I could read their mind. I don't know what, uh, how to do s- some shit. Um, 
Oh, oh, matter of fact is uh, and we're, I'm bored too, like everyone else. <laughs> oh, oh, one thing that I actually did expecting that I'm still trying to fix right now is because because I go to school, you know, I'm trying to get VA benefits from that, and it's making it, it hard to get those benefits because the VA requires the school to let them know that I'm enrolled, but it's hard to get in contact with the school because no one. Oh yeah. Is, you know, True. Yeah, like, to that. That's so stupid. So yeah, no. I'm kind of like I'm like broke and I need money. Uh, yeah. You're trying, to, you're trying to get your your benefits. <laughs> like, anyone's got. It'll be fine, man. It'll be fine. All right. How are you feeling, McDonald's coats, bro? <laughs> Dude, I don't know, man. I went to McDonald's. So how today. how has it affected the rest of y'all? Uh, so far, right now, um, job security has been very very low, especially oh, yeah. since we can't the job careers I want to do right now. Which I'm, which I'll be frank, I'm been kind of lazy. I'm not really looking as much because I'm just kind of <laughs> slacking. Well, because I, I oh, have yeah. like oh, I have are. some money saved from. I did medical trials to basically benefit myself to basically have some extra money. So I saved about almost fifteen, ten thousand dollars already. So I'm already, I'm good on that right now. But so, I do need to find a job eventually. I might do DoorDash for a little while to kind of keep my bills low because I know this, this a lot of it, sustainable yeah, income. A little a lot of businesses right now they're still kind of opening, but it's been very, very slow. And that's mostly been it. Besides that, it's it's been really bored because we can't go nowhere. We can't exactly. go no, we can't. can't go to the beach. Well, we can go to the beach. We can't go out and socialize as much as we used to. And I'm just telling, I'm just thinking to myself right now, next year, even with this election coming up, whoever gets elected, I feel oh, yeah. another like, topic. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I just kinda of brought that up. But <laughs> so far I think that, you know, with this COVID thing, it's gonna get kind of worse, but it's kinda of getting a little better, a little bit of that. Yeah. Yeah. Um Leah or Sam. Either one can I'll grab my <laughs> yeah. so I got affected by COVID. Okay. Can so the first thing that happened. Mm-hmm. I got kicked out of my house, literally. <laughs> really? Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. So, Why did you get kicked out? Not lying. Wow. <laughs> so really? I used to be uh, mm-hmm. I used to live with this aunt, right? An uh-huh. uncle and an aunt. Um yeah. I don't live with my parents, they live in Mexico. So mm-hmm. um, yeah, like my aunt got like really strict about COVID and she was like, You cannot go outside like oh. anything. You know, like you can do anything. Right. And, <clears throat> yeah, and I was like, I wanted to go grocery shopping, you know, going for a run to uh, to IP, you know. <laughs> oh my god. Like, I don't know how to do anything, you know, like not yeah. even running, you know, even going for a jog. She was like, No, you're gonna get COVID and I was like, Come on <laughs> and she she I was legit with her one month, and I was like, you know what, I'm out. You know, like I don't want to be still living here. I'm even paying rent for this. That's true. <laughs> so That's true. I was like, yeah. So That's... yeah, because she, she literally wanted me to like order everything online, like oh my Amazon God. Fresh. <laughs> <laughs> Holy no, shit! Yeah, yeah. Like, nah. yeah, for real, for real. Shit, like, come on. Yeah. yeah, you had to get out of there, huh? That's a pain in the ass. Yeah. I feel that. Yeah. Like- I moved, so I'm I'm right now with a friend, so yay. Oh, well, at least you have good friends. Yeah, at least you yeah, have a good place to stay. Yeah, that's what's all right. Oh. Kudos to your friend. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Leah? Um, Last one. I mean, it's been okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I wake up, go to school, do work, go back to bed. Oh, my God. Nothing's changed, has it? I mean, yeah, it's a cycle. <laughs> it's, it's like my summer cycle. I just wake up, play video games, go to bed, you know, do the do the thing. Mm. But you know, there are the there are other things like you know, going to see your friends and hang out. The little outings that always counted are kind of being missed right now. You should, co- you should come over when we when we let you fight. Oh yeah, that's better. Yeah. <laughs> I would fight? just be, I would just be laughing at you guys watching. The we'll fight. be fucking like, yelling like, when you're laughing at us. We'll be yelling. Be like, like, ah, nothing, nothing's nothing's so currently loud. happening right now, and then one big punch would happen, and you'll send you guys all off. I'll <laughs> be laughing at that. I got and, new uh, couches because uh, uh, us throwing each other on the last ones broke it. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um. You broke a couch. I have. No, a, I had that couch yeah. for years. The couch yeah. just break. My heart did too. <laughs> but um, another another topic. Well, it's like more of a question. We talked a little bit with Nico about it. Um, do you think that uh, COVID or no, life will ever be the same after COVID? I said that I, I think it's gonna have the I call it post nine eleven effect because you know how this shit <laughs> yeah. such an impact yeah. after nine eleven. Like before, like I said before, in the, at the border, 
Um, I don't, none of us would know because we weren't uh, like alive yet or we were yet really young. <laughs> we weren't uh, alive. Yeah, but they they used to say that <laughs> I was alive for that time. When you that. when you would go to like here, like TJ or something, you could literally just walk walk through the border, walk back without even checking shit. But after nine eleven, obviously it's the way it is now. I forgot. Like, let me see. How uh, Jay? How old are you again? When this is like two thousand. I think we're we're all twenty. I think. Or we're all 19. One, one okay, because I was around when 9 11 happened. And, um, yeah, you were a little older, huh? Yeah, I was like, I think I was six or five yeah. around that era. So I, I yeah. kind of, yeah, like, I was one. <laughs> yeah, it was, it, that was the most scariest time because, I, yeah, I've heard the bad part about when post 9 11 did happen, like a lot of this, like, like which is kind of happening right now, per se, was uh-huh. a lot of like people were cautious to go outside. They were very, yeah. very, you know, social distancing. Mm-hmm. A lot of a lot of racism was kind of, you know, derogatory towards many, you know, Islamic, Muslim, Indian, because, you know, it was Middle East or, yeah. and, you know, it's kind of, yeah. It, it, and like, you know, it's scary time. People were just like traumatized and like, you know. It's yeah, like, that's it, why. You know, that's why I think there's a lot of compare uh, similarities between 9/11 and COVID. Well, COVID is not a fucking terrorist attack; it's a fucking pandemic. But no, it's a pandemic. But, but there's there is a huge people, impact though. They still have people blaming like yeah. people who Confru- are like Confru- keep Chinese and stuff. Like yeah. people who are just Asian are just. Well, I guess I guess Asian, yeah, that there is because it came from China. But that's the only race China. racist implications. But um, yeah. I guess I should ask all of you: or do you get do you think COVID? Do you think life will be the same? Like not right now, obviously, but maybe like <laughs> in, do you think it's in the future. Go back to the way it was. Yeah. Um, I say yeah, but at the same time, there's gonna be like little differences, you know. Like yeah. one, maybe people are gonna be, you know, being more cleaner, but at the same time, people are gonna still be more sensitive about, uh, you know, like being near each other, touching each other, you know. Uh-huh. So I don't know. I think it like they just want to. I feel like it's gonna be like more, um, like people trying to prevent COVID happening again, you know? Uh, yeah. In my opinion. Anybody else have an opinion? I think for right now, we're living in such this, this dystopian era of 2020 that... Low-key. Even, let's just say, let's just say this, you know, right now we're having to use masks and stuff. Mm-hmm. By next year, there is no way that this... Because right now, I just saw today's news that apparently they're developing a new, a new mask that oh, can... It, yeah, a new mask that can basically prevent the COVID, uh, you know, thing from, you know, in, in getting in like your pores and whatnot, skin, you know, all this shit. I don't fucking know. Yeah. But it's, <laughs> you know, what I'm telling myself is like, why are we spending money on a mask when we should be putting that money to use to basically find whatever a vaccine or something, which I don't even know about that. Uh, uh, who knows? Maybe next year. Year we're after. Not even, we're not even. There's no like really also because we haven't. We've only been getting certain you know predictions of you know what could happen. You know a lot of people are catching now. It's, there's so many people. There's so <clears throat> many fast testing. You know it's not enough testing. All this stuff is just. I don't know, man. I think even with next year, I feel we're not gonna. It's probably gonna. We're just gonna be the norm. This will be the norm for the next. I think two years. Two years. Yeah. I'm calling it two years. I can see that being a there's, norm there's for no years. way there is no way even next year that everything will go back to normal we're gonna we're basically gonna be mm-hmm. what what basically what china is right i mean the asian cultures they wear oh, masks. Hell, i hope not um, they have to wear it you know every day not every day but maybe like months in a while but they have to wear it and like yeah. now we're socially have to accept that and a lot of people are upset by that and, you know, yeah i don't know Let's ask Sam so she won't be the last one every time. I feel like she's just scared to answer. <laughs> sure. No. She's being polite. I think everyone will have <laughs> I think mm-hmm. everyone will have like this flashcard flashbacks, right? And they'll mm-hmm. suddenly be like watching their face and be like, Oh shit, like COVID, you know, like Yeah. I don't know. Everyone will have those, you know. Yeah. But oh. who knows? <laughs> I got a question. Do you guys think this is gonna be like on the history books at all? Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. Well, definitely well, well, be. What I would say is, um, let's say that life go, does go back to normal, at least like systematically, like government doesn't put any restrictions. There's still going to be, and this is for sure, I think everyone can agree, there's going to be paranoid, there's always going to be paranoid people forever because yeah. of how much impact there was here. Like social, socially, I don't think it'll, 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 it'll ever go back to the way it was until like all of us die out and the next generation fucking comes to, to live. I don't know. They're going to mention <laughs> it in like schools in the future. I think, yeah, I think there's going to be like a, 
there's going to be an impact that will never change, kind of like 9-11 with the borders. There's going to be something maybe in the medical world that will never change. Maybe like yeah. they're even more extreme with sterilization. They're more extreme with – I feel like airports are going to change. They're going to check if you have something. Like they're going to – like testing of not just COVID, but just you your, your health in general. Changing? Yeah, it's. I think it's going to – something's going to change drastically. I don't think this – we're going to live like this forever. I'd just The world would end. I mean, the economy would collapse if we lived like this for. If, if shit was this shut down for this long, businesses would disappear besides like Walmart and Get fucking the the McDonald's. Like besides the big companies, everything would go to shit. So there's no way they could keep it this way. But yeah, there's there's going to be an impact. I think when life does go back to normal, there's going to be something that will never change. Yeah. But um, and people are going to be paranoid. They're like, what, ha- what if it happens again? I'm like, dude, you can't live that way, man. You got to go back to living. That's my opinion. Though, but I know there's a lot of paranoid people. Um, and this is, I think, I'm pretty sure I know all your guys' answers, but uh, this is another question I had. Do you like life now or how it was before COVID? I mean, I'm Wait, pretty sure. I liked it better, before. personally. Before? Personal, yeah. Just the issue of, like, you know, yeah, life sucked because everybody would just, there was personal problems and whatnot. And, but you could actually functionally socialize and seek whatever you want and go get it but now i True. feel like we're just stuck we're like yeah. really just stuck in this box and we can't get out we can one, but restrictions yeah. yeah one thing you could say is this is the introverts paradise right now that's Everyone true yeah. who likes being stuck inside <laughs> we're all the best time here. of their life right now <laughs> leah <laughs> <laughs> but um, well, i mean i do like i do like going to the movies and stuff but that's like that's inside like once, that's kidding. a once a week thing <laughs> now it's inside i go i go outside to go inside that's oh my god <laughs> <laughs> gotta go outside to go, go in but go well, we're going to the car I, 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 Transportation I, is inside. No I stuff. have heard the argument of the other side, which I'm, which I'm not. I don't think anyone, oh. any one of us, are on the side that uh, life is just more safe. Safe, that's a quote. Um, I feel like uh, if I had to like compare this to something, it'd be like <sighs> there was a book I was reading. Well, it was like a society where you're basically happy, but it's like self self delusion kind of happy. Like the oh, government okay. keeps you happy. I forget what the book was called. Fuck, it wasn't 1984. That's a different kind of thing. <laughs> I'm sure you guys don't know what that's... Well, I'm sure probably... I don't, I don't the, know. Yeah. <laughs> um, but, uh, like, it's a society that the government is like, yeah, you're happy. As long as you're happy, that's all that matters, even if you're living in a fantasy world. Like, if, There's a movie like that, too. I, yeah. There's, like, go- movies about this already. Like, yeah, if, there was go- if, there, if our government really wanted to, they could, try to they could try to control us in a way that this becomes regular life. Like, we'd be scared to go back outside, uh, like, if they wanted to. But they're not, because obviously we have... Uh, people on the other side, like, like governmental officials, are like, "Fuck no, we gotta go back to normal." But um, yeah, that's that's. I think we all agree life is was better before. But um, yeah. this is another good question. I think that rolls off well. How much should we should we really trust uh, government? Well, the U.S. government specifically. Like, how much do you think we should trust it? When they give you my second stimulus check, I'll be happy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess- honestly. That's hard <laughs> because you never know what's really corrupted or not. And, you know, you have to like, it's not like you go against the law if you really, you know, it's so, yeah. I don't know. That's a hard decision to like, yeah, really, how much, how much I trust. <laughs> I don't think it's necessarily trusting the government in a specific time like this. Yeah. How reliable. Think, yeah. I think when word. you look at I COVID, <laughs> I think oh. we should like, it's just like a worldwide thing. Like, right. if oh, you yeah. look at the this U.S., point, yeah. the U.S. is doing pretty terrible against COVID. I feel like, yeah, I feel like we countries. were just, we were alerted too late, or we took notice too late. I mean, hey, careful what you say on here, though. The fucking FBI could be watching. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, they, shit. Yeah, I, know. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I know, <laughs> man. <laughs> Everything is sketchy, bro. They could be banning people everywhere. You never know. Zoom could be yeah. next. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, they <laughs> they should really look at how other countries are handling this. Right. Take a page out of other people's books. The problem is with the okay. problem is what we're playing in right now with the United States is like we are so like not normal and it's been proven we can't follow simple rules and yeah. it's not our it's not our fault we're not socially accepted to follow certain rules because we we weren't adapted to that it's just hard. right yeah like, Sam not, what do you yeah, think we're not the same but yeah yeah Shit, we yeah, ask Sam said, like, yeah it's gonna be hard to adapt like you know it's living right. the Mm-hmm. Thing. No, but yeah. I don't know. I don't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Um, as far as what, how much we should trust government? I guess it's from person to person. But uh, me, I don't think they straight out lie. 
but I think they uh they'll shape the, tru- the truth. They'll shape the truth in what they want it to be. Like they're not gonna be like, oh, one plus one equals three, because obviously that's a fucking line. But they'll, I mean, that's I think that's too simplistic. It's more it's more complicated than that. But um, they <laughs> they'll change it. <laughs> they'll change it in the way they want you to like listen to Trump speak and listen to Biden speak. Their their truths are different, even though they might be both right. Sometimes neither one is right, like factual, factually right. But when it comes to like a something that's not concrete, like a, well, I don't want to get too political, like abortion or something like that. Like depends what your truth is. So yeah, that's what I think. You shouldn't trust everything they say. Yeah. Um, for sure. That's just even government is can be corrupt. Even even be careful like of what oh, you yeah. see on like the news and stuff because the news can like you know show you oh. things make you want to believe certain things or. Make you want don't, to side on don't watch too. any media. The media. The always, media. always read good and good sources that are yeah. verified. Yeah. Never, oh. never look at the media. In the- yeah, don't, yeah. Don't look on meme accounts for political advice. You have to. Not like the best ones to watch. <laughs> it's funny. Get- I'll give it that. <laughs> Politically funny. <laughs> Politically <laughs> laughing my ass off right now. Our right. generation it's is based serious. off <laughs> meme accounts. I guess another good question. We didn't really talk about the last podcast. It was me and Walker. We talked about it a little bit. The political, uh, the presidential debates. Um, that was kind of like even <laughs> watching yesterday's debate was. Oh, vice presidential, yeah, yeah. Um, what do you guys think of uh, the debates? And is it a joke or what do you guys? Kind of is, but it's funny that I did not watch it. Harris I, I like basically it. destroyed pants. I'm like, dude, she's fucking eating you up, spinning you out. She's gonna eat you mm-hmm. later, bro. Like she, uh, it's just like the back and forth. You can just tell like, pants is like. He's not ideally a good vice president. The only reason why he's doing this is because he has to. He's Trump's VP, but you know, he that flyish day on, <laughs> that made headlines that there was a fly on his head and he didn't even notice it. He did not even yeah. touch. He just left I it. saw that. And yeah, I like, saw that. Bro, that was hilarious. They did it to Hillary too, and it was like, oh my god, oh uh, yeah, the, the losers fly. Like it's kind of like the the groundhog <laughs> on, fly? on Groundhog's <laughs> Day. So yeah. since wow. the flash of one pence, he's gonna That's lose. Um, I saw that meme. Yeah, so. <laughs> but uh, the first debate, the presidential one, it was very. Uh, it wasn't even a debate. It was just more shit talking contest. I was like, damn. Um, you hear Biden? He's like, will you shut up? Yeah, <laughs> you a lot shut of sh- up, man. Honestly, the debates, it doesn't matter. I don't think it matters what side of the political spectrum you're on. We can all agree it's not even a debate, it's more of like popularity. Who can get? Yeah. Who can roast the other better? That's what it is. <laughs> can roast I think Trump might be better because the guy, you know, regardless if he's a politician or knows anything about politician facts, he that's knows funny. he's a businessman. Dude. He, he can roast, man. Can the problem is he's the though, Conor like, McGregor of pre- presidency. <laughs> that is true. Biden just doesn't like Biden. The problem I have with Biden, I'm, just, I'm not saying he's a bad president. I just feel like physically, like he needs someone really to kind of help him out because I feel yeah. like he can't do it by himself. He actually needs someone yeah. there. I guess we asked Sam, what do you think of, if you've seen him, like, what do you think of the debates that you've seen? <laughs> you haven't seen it? Um, no. you, You're not the only one. I guess another question. Um, <laughs> do you like, did you like Biden more or Bernie more? Just personally. Bernie Sanders, I mean. Um, maybe Bernie Sanders, yeah. Yeah, I feel like everyone, everyone on that side wanted him to be there instead of uh, a lot of people are like but he, just, but he dropped out i don't know why he dropped out for some reason um, well, maybe maybe don't know he dropped out he dropped out because he didn't have enough numbers yeah like, you, you saw his numbers compared <laughs> to biden's and you, trump's you saw that yeah. Yeah. that he was not doing well i don't understand how biden he made it this far man that guy's a, it's not even not even his his values. It's just how old he fucking is man i wanted bernie to really go i felt I, even though i i you know People don't like him because of the socialist part. I am. I, I do agree, though. Biden looked somewhat competent, like was able to speak and like complete sentences. But other times he looks like he's fucking on, on death's door. I was like, holy <laughs> shit. That's, well, yeah. well, old well, ass, Trump man. was already at death's door. <laughs> he fucking almost died. He's, got, he's gonna have a he fucking like, stroke mid, mid speech, dude. I remember like he took his mask off of some speech. He's like, hi everybody. I'm like, he's gonna fucking stroke. I'm like he's gonna fucking die on the spot. Well, this, this is what I don't understand. I was like, dude. Like, 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 if you were to win, he'd die you... in his inauguration. He's like, thank you. I know. It's over. Like, <laughs> like, like, dude. All right, like, Pamela, Trump you're has... president now. Harris, get in here. Like, yeah. <laughs> hey, it'd be, it'd be first female president. That's probably why she's someone. even with him. She's like, I know, gonna, I know he's going to fucking die. I'm going to take a spot when he dies. I'm like, oh, my God. That's that's, that's, it's true. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. 
I'm gonna puncture. You're killing Thomas on. over here. Fucking die. He's dying. <laughs> Oh. Oh. Bernie, <laughs> Bernie might might have been like knows you night. Bernie might have been old as fuck, but at least he was like he could no. talk and not. Well, Bernie's like, dying. Well, the problem with Bernie is like again, people just didn't like what he had to offer. So yeah, like a for the older people. Points. Yeah, he. But the problem is he didn't really offer as much to the older people. Now, granted, I was I really believe that he had general like views points and what he wanted to accomplish. However, it's just yeah. he. He kept giving out these outrageous claims that he's gonna do all this. Like he's like free healthcare, free college. Yeah. I'm like, get the fuck out of here. I did. Bunch of promises. Okay. And I, <laughs> yeah, ideally, <laughs> you wouldn't say that, but I understand why he did that. Was because he was trying to get the young people to vote for him. Yeah. Which I do, that that that's understandable. A lot of people, mm-hmm. a lot of young people, you know, older people, they don't like him because he's giving. Well, why should I help <laughs> that guy? He never helped me. Like that's not the point. The point is, if he offers it to the young people, you're gonna yeah. be dead. The older people will be dead by then. The old, he would have been dead too. Fucking yeah, but before. now I feel like <laughs> I, I feel with Bernie, he just you know he could he might have had a chance, but uh, again, we'll never. Know. Honestly, they're all fucking old. Yeah. Even Trump is old, man. They're like seventy five plus. All of them. How old was Obama when he met? <laughs> Obama was like in his. Like, Obama was young. He was like in his forties. Hey, did you uh, see how Obama they're... looked before he was president and after? He yeah. looked yeah. gray hair real quick. He was, well, uh, well, to be fair yeah. about that, well, to uh, be fair uh, about the gray hair, the hair gray thing, like it's general. It happens a lot. Brother. All those guys are like old enough to I be know, Obama's just, dad. I'm like, God damn, they're old as fuck, dude. All now, what I'm saying is, like, being president is definitely a lot of pressure. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. but Even, could, they are the ones in charge of making the you know the the big decision calls. You know what I mean? Yeah, they don't really um, have much power, but they just have to make the big. Calls. I, I guess I should ask uh, Sam. We all know. I think we all know how what we've talked about how we think of Trump. But what do you think of Trump, Sam? It could be in whatever you say. It's, it's your opinion. I don't like the guy. <laughs> I just don't. <laughs> do you um? Do you I like know. uh? Do you like Biden or Trump more? Out of the, the I mean, I got Biden. Less Biden worse. So. <laughs> oh, you say you think Biden's worse? Um, no. Oh, you less. think Trump's? But uh, oh, less. Um, what was I gonna say? Um. Fuck, I forgot. Um, As usual. It's fun. Yeah. Hey, what happened to King John Un, by the way? No one ever uh, talks about that guy anymore. He's dead. That's, he, uh, I think he pushed it he's out. He's not top news. He's he not top news. Mr. Boom Boom Man. What he pu- he pushed it out after Trump was like, gave him a serious threat. He's like, you, your pussy ass country's going to do shit. We're going to kill you. He's like, oh shit. But shut up now. <laughs> yeah. He's like, North Korea, we got like 10 times as many nukes as your ass. Get the fuck out of here. But, um, Half the island. Oh, I know. Should I ask Sam? Because I've asked everyone else on here. What do you think of the riots and stuff? Well, they're not a thing now, but I think they still are. But what did you think of all the the riots that were happening like months ago? Yeah, I don't know. Like, it's crazy and controversial, you know, because like everyone's like, oh, like COVID, it's in the in here, you know, everyone should be careful and everything. And then you no. see all this COVID. bunch of people, like, you know, yeah. destroying yeah. all together. I'm just like. What? <laughs> yeah, are you? Yeah, I, think, I think they just straight up broke mental. I, I, like, are, yeah. you, are you for um? What do you think of bl- the Black Lives Matter thing? Are you, are you for it or not? Yeah, I'm for it, but I wouldn't do such things. But maybe because I'm just like too shy to do all that. I'm, I'll just like, like I'll totally and shit? for you. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I can go out and be like, yeah. hey. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I. Don't, Either way, I feel I'm like you can do whatever you want. You just can't destroy fucking cities and shit. Like relax, buddy. But um, yeah. Yeah. fire chase. <laughs> yeah, I'm like you gotta relax, buddy. Oh, yeah. But um, <laughs> what's another? I think with these riots and stuff, they're just proving a point that like you know I think protest is getting stronger and stronger, and like now people need to re- realize that. Damn, I mean, let's be honest. One, per- well. There's been many deaths in the world, but I think this one really proved the point that, you know, we need to stop this shit, you know, like, you know, yeah. stop all this rioting, you know, but yeah, I guarantee I you, people, people are yeah, still getting hurt right now. Too. Yeah, honestly, I don't think riots are a necessary thing to do because it causes more damage than good. You yeah. Know? Uh-huh. So it just, and it hurts a lot of innocent people's business, businesses and destroys that community, which it will make that community worsen within the years. So, because it's hard to recover from riots like that, you know, it's a lot of money, city damage and stuff like that. So, I don't know. I, I, I don't think it should resort to riots. Which, by the way, I just want to bring this up right now. You do, you guys, did you guys hear that the guy who killed George Floyd was out on bail? Oh yeah, he's out. Yeah. So now, like, it's like, you know, I get he's his life will never. Oh, his life's over. 
Yeah. His life's over. He'll he'll have to basically move to like Alaska or somewhere. He'll have to move. Yeah, he moved to like Alabama, KKK territory. But I think the problem here, here's here's like what I'm trying to understand is like you know, he already he the guy's dead. You know, regardless, George Floyd's dead. Yeah. <laughs> you know, allowing this guy to leave his you know keep well basically take him out of prison. He he's basically gonna be a Walking Dead man because no, no one he's dead. Yeah, he's everywhere dead. he goes. He will not be accepting the story. Any, any hood you go to, you get shot like, right away. Yeah, which, like, anyway. dude, this is it. Like, I, I, if I was him, bro, I would just stay in prison, dude. You're honestly, never, if I was him, I would, I would, I would leave the country. Honestly, yeah, if I was yeah. him, I would change my identity, change the country, and cut off my face. <laughs> I'd go to Mexico and just live it's there true, somewhere. Bro. Fuck it. I think Mexico here yeah, it'd be more. Dangerous. It amazes me too. Like, like dude, he, all the cartel. The, the bell was like one million dollars. I'm like, holy shit. I don't know how he has that much money. How police, get that police much money? department must have bailed him out. I don't know. I, there, um, well, there was charity to some, and some people that were. I hope. I think the family might have put mortgages up to get him out of prison. Holy shit! Yeah, not, that, which yeah. happened to the, one of the police officers. I think one of the police officers put up his house, or the family put up his house to basically get him out of jail. I feel later. like, uh, yeah, that one I don't agree with. He should have been. He should have been in prison for that. He shit. He should have at least been serving. Like, there's no way, dude. Maybe like, not. Like, maybe not like first degree murder, but he definitely was a part of the reason why George died. Why George Floyd died? That was which bad. doesn't make sense. Like, bro, you see, like people, he's out on bail. Like, okay, well, do you see how much destruction he caused? Not just a city, not just a state, a whole fucking nation. Derek, Derek was the uh, the igniter for fucking months of cities getting destroyed. And yet you're gonna allow this dude to get out on bail for a million. Well, I'm surprised he got that much money. Yeah, me too. It should have been more money, personally. I think 25 <laughs> mil should have probably been the max. They, they probably should, they should have said no bail, to be honest. Yeah. But um, yeah, that asshole's out. His life's over anyways. That's a prison sentence in itself. He's gonna get his ass fucking jumped or something. Probably will. Guarantee he'll, it. He will get killed. Yeah, he'll get his ass whooped or killed or something. But um, gotcha. yeah, that's a damn shame. But um, oh yeah um. I guess Sam, you said that you watch some boxing, like sometimes. So not really. Canelo. You watch well, like, Canelo. I mean, it's been Canelo. <laughs> two years ago, because right now it's just like, nah. Do you have? But, um, yeah. Do, do you have a favorite boxer? Pacquiao. <laughs> yeah. Canelo, probably. <laughs> yeah, I think I heard she said Pacquiao. Pacquiao. Oh, you said Pacquiao. Oh, you said Pacquiao. Wow, Jimmy. Wow. Hey, the, <laughs> hey, the, hey, I, hey, I, mean, I give I a prop. Know. The Filipinos are good but, too. Oh, oh! I thought you said Canelo. You said Pacquiao. Um, Pacquiao. Have you? Yeah. Is, is there any? Is there any Sorry, fight? <laughs> <laughs> is there any fight that you remember of his of Pacquiao, like that you really enjoyed watching? I mean, the most popular one. Do you want? Um, do you remember the one? Well, he lost, right? <laughs> but like, yeah. he was the only first, Floyd. The first one. Was it Floyd? Oh, oh you're talking about mm-hmm. Floyd. Floyd Mayweather. No, was the Max dude. Oh, oh Marquez, Marquez. Uh, the the fucking uh, yeah. Oh, oh, when he knocked him the fuck out. Oh dude, yeah, dude. Yeah, guys, yeah. That fight, yeah, that fight lasted for like that was bad. Four, four boxing yeah. matches, bro. That was they four, four back, fights. Back forth, back forth. It, yeah, I think the last fight it kind of solidified that you know Pacquiao. Well, Pacquiao, that he was got, like 2011, I think. He got his ass beat right. He got that fucking knocked out cold, man. Hey, but if you watch if you watch that replay of that fight, bro, like, bro, he Marquez waited for him to drop his guard and bam, right in the he, face. He has a bad habit of dropping his hand. That's why he got fucking dropped. I was like, damn, he's fucking dropped. He's still a good boxer. <laughs> he's gonna have. Oh, yeah. he's a legend. He's, when a he legend. retires, dude, he's gonna have a. He's gonna. I honestly think he's gonna have a, a better legacy than Floyd. I think. This is mm, I mean, he beat Floyd, but bad but too. I mean, uh, I mean, Floyd beat him pretty easily. The but. problem, but that's the thing though with with Floyd is like he's this guy, best. like he's he's yeah, he is the best. Yeah. But he's just like his boxing legacy. I feel is not as great as Pacquiao's because this dude but, fought, he fought Connor. He took all these damn stupid. Bribes. I mean, that's a, that that one. I don't really count. It's a joke. But as far as what but he it, did in the, in the it's ring, in the boxing records, the whole yeah. But but besides what he did in the ring before Connor, he's beaten more world champions than anyone ever, including Ali, including Tyson. He's beaten more world champions, and he's he beaten beat the Big Show. Let's be real. He fought the Big Show at he WrestleMania. Fucked up Big Show. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but um. <laughs> He's being more world champs. He's being world, more world champs than Ali, than Tyson, than Sugar Ray Robinson, than all any legend you can think of. He's want, he's being more champs than, than I, them. I think um, the only one that's actually really rocked Floyd Mayweather was um. It was Mosley. Yeah, Mosley. Mosley. Kind of, but the funny thing is, after the round two, he got his ass stomped by Floyd. The rest of the fight, though. But um. He's good. Sa- though. He's good. Sam, I'm sure you watched uh, f- uh, Pacquiao versus Floyd, huh? When they fought like a couple years ago, that fight was huge. Floyd Mayweather versus Pacquiao. Did you watch that one? I think it was. Think? It was years ago. So. If you missed that one, 
That was huge. That's that's like missing out on the best trend oh, on Twitter or something. Yeah. On on Vine. Yeah, my like, memory. You, you were missing out on like something <laughs> that was Vine. massive socially. What was funny was uh, Floyd versus Connor. That was the best interview I've ever watched in my. Oh life. God. Um. Let me. Oh, I'm sure you've seen. Um. What was it? Uh, Canelo versus Ch- Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. I know that. I know that was a huge fight in like all over these the states, South America, because those guys were like the biggest Mexican fighters at the time. Did you watch that one? That was like three years ago now, a while ago. Yeah. Yeah. Did you see all? <laughs> did you see you? You were able to tell who was better right away, huh? Canelo beat his ass bad, dude. Um, <laughs> yeah. So do you? Do you watch any other sports besides boxing or no? Any sport. You can even be not, like. Honestly, not really right now. You know, I used to watch you like soccer golf? and soccer. Oh, you used to watch soccer? No. Do you like golf? Yeah, but right Does that count as a sport? I lost motivation. Wait. This. Mm. <laughs> count as a sport? Come on. Man. I was going to ask Sam. Uh, oh, you gotta who do you, who do you, like I that. guess I could ask you this. Who do you think is better, Messi or um, or Ronaldo? Like, all of those two. Uh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Ronaldo. Ronaldo. <laughs> I think he's won yeah. more. He's won more more championships than Messi. <laughs> Messi's fucking good too, though. Yeah. But those guys are both really good. Um. Yeah. Um. I guess. Yeah. Let's move on from sports. Um. I f- <laughs> yeah, I was watching a podcast about uh, you know how people say nice guys finish last. Should have known that. Yeah, there was like I was watching a podcast with a psychologist on, and he was talking about like narcissists, how like um, how in, in a way they end up winning. Like the the saying is true: nice guys do finish last. But um, I was gonna ask, <laughs> what do you guys think about that? I like the balance of being kind of an asshole and being a nice guy. Like, what what do you think about all that? Huh. Anyone could say anything. It was an asshole. Like you know, like the. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I had to text someone right quick. Like, you well, know, people say nice guys finish last. Maybe it's not necessarily being an asshole, but more of being aggressive. Yeah. Which like, gets them what they want. Because hey, when what? you're stuck as, like, a nice guy, you kind of a pushover. And huh. it just, I don't know, people just don't like that. So See, I, I don't have the nice guy mentality. I have the nice, I don't give a fuck mentality. <laughs> <laughs> nice, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Because, like, dude, let's just be real. Like, you can be it. You can just be a, an asshole and a nice guy. Yeah, you can just combine those two. Just do what you got to do and then basically mind your business. Honestly. But, um, but a lot of people take that the wrong way because they think, oh, you're better than me. And, and it's it's not the reason why. It's because the, that people don't follow that mentality. Like, they have to follow the simple rules of be a nice person, uh, uh, have a family, pay your bills. You know, work nine to five. Apparently, that's one of them, and then basically keep going to the day you die, which most people don't want to do that. Well, yeah. there's other people that step out the box or the zone, their comfort zone, basically just make their own success. Yeah. I think for the most part, you know, the nice guy thing, it, it's it's kind of working, but at the same time, you do have to, you know, step out of that kind of box and basically make your own post. I am, yeah, like, as far as a, uh... I'm a nice guy. Just don't piss me off. Yeah. Like, as far as nar- narcissism, I think there's healthy levels of it. Um, like, there's obviously the irrational narcissism where everyone, like, someone could suck sh- fucking, suck fucking bad at something and think they're good at it. They're like, look, man. I'm like, dude, you suck. Like, that's irrational. <laughs> but um, when you're, like, a healthy narcissist, you're, I mean, you're fucking obsessed with what you're doing, but you're actually, you're not irrational. You know when you suck at something. And, um, yeah, you're a little bit of an asshole sometimes. But, like, Michael Jordan, that guy was... His ego is probably the biggest ego I've ever seen. Look at him, what he's done. But I think for him it was different because this guy was a was an athlete and he wanted to. When he had a goal, yeah. he had a mission. Yeah, but he was so narcissistic. Like you could you could say oh, yeah. he's narcissistic. He was narcissistic. He was fucking. So was, I think so was Kobe. In the if there's a oh yeah video, him too. Him there's too. a video. There's a, there's a video of him saying I think this is probably like the last the last like the last couple of years before he retired where he, he would say that we're soft like Charmin. I'm like what <laughs> the fuck. And but, uh, yeah. that's kind of true. But people like Jordan, people like Mike Tyson, who was a fucking animal. Like his ego was off the charts. I yeah, think you gotta. Yeah. Honestly, now he's back to boxing. <laughs> honestly, to be the like the best at something, you gotta have a little bit of a, a narcissism in you. I mean, not that doesn't mean you have to be a prick to everyone, but I mean you gotta have like. Michael Jordan fucking punched his teammates in the face. Yeah, you gotta be a little. Put I'll yourself. Fight. You gotta I'll put. Fight. You gotta put yourself first. Like, 
you, it's just reality, you know, without being a prick. But, and then, uh, and then the funny part about that is that the TV or you know, like the stations and stuff, they try to make it seem it's it's called respect. Getting <laughs> the now, I don't, I don't agree with that. Jordan was so good that he, I guess, he got away with it. He got, he got away with being a prick. I'll yeah, he got Jordan. away with being a prick. So the fucking media did whatever they can to make him seem like a legend. You know, I mean, yeah. still, don't get me wrong, he is a legend when it comes to basketball. But he was a fucking asshole. Yeah, he was. He was. Yeah. He was the most competitive guy you'll fucking ever meet. Kill Jordan. <laughs> I mean, he would even lose a fucking. He would even lose a card game. That's how fucking obsessed he was. Well, he was but, a gambler too. Yeah, he had a fucking gambling. He had a gambling problem. problem. Yeah, he was obsessed, man. I mean, we could take hey. example, uh, but we can't just this. Besides the prick part, we could learn learn from Michael Jordan. But um. He was a fucking prick. <laughs> but uh, what's oh, this? Is, this is something we all talk about. I mean, we talked about Lee a little with Lee a little bit, but favorite high school memories. Um. I'm sure we talked a lot about it, but I guess I could ask Sam. What's what was your favorite? Well, actually, what was your favorite grade in high school? Best grade, what, ninth through twelve. Ninth grade. Honestly, junior. Oh, junior. Junior year. Yeah. That was a good yeah. year. We all went to Mar Vista, huh? Yeah, we all did. I forgot you. Damn, dude, I was there too. I was there too. No, I was there. I was. I graduated in 2014. That shit, dude. That was like the late. That's year. when I was mm-hmm. really entering high school, basically. Yeah, when you left, we were barely coming. I know. That was a late year, bro. We had Drake Bell come to our school. Damn, I'd be sick if you were there for that. Uh, I know. <laughs> yeah, they were. You know when our school went through a paint job. Yeah, I know. Oh, you guys, oh. you guys, you guys paint up. You guys covered up like everything, shit. bro. You guys covered up everything. The trailers. You know where the ROTC building was. There were trailers there. They're gone now. They used to be right there, and they're this, gone. The school still looks like shit. Always will. <laughs> <laughs> well, add that too, and then when we when I left, when I graduated, like a year later, like there was sexual assault cases and shit. Like, oh my, no, that was when we were sophomores. Like, like a week. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Um, Wait, Sam. Sam, what did you think about those? The, oh yeah, the the whole scandals that happened during our sophomore year. Yeah. The, 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 uh, the sexual cases that happen between the teacher and students like you remember those yeah i do well i don't know this is i feel like maybe the girls are exaggerating you know like because you know it's the majority of the times they're like i oh, know you touch me or anything but we <laughs> really don't know you know or what do you but guys think i don't know uh, um, I mean, there, there's four cases i think within like a week too no they oh. they were no they were weekly like they were in uh, okay. that week well they, yeah. they were they all happened at different times yeah. but they were all released in the same week yeah they which was really bad super timing. bad Honestly, but super yeah it was bad. one with a i think a R R R R O P C guy uh a driver's ed teacher that was bad uh and then our, our fucking football coach yeah, yeah. and then i think we, another yeah. roct he was our coach like we knew him personally but he was fucking awesome too i didn't yeah. think he was a pedophile but yeah whatever. i used to go one on one i used to go one on one with him like on fucking routes and then he ends up becoming a pedophile it's like fuck Dude, I, I would get fucking uh inspiration and motivation from the guy and then it turns out he's into pedophilia so it's like <laughs> shit you know honestly i honestly yeah. thought there was a fucking under- from a pedo no, I, th- <laughs> I thought there was an underground yeah. pedof- i thought there was an underground pedophile ring when i was four in a row um, I thought every teacher. No, I'm just kidding. But um, <laughs> it's like I was getting a weird vibe when I was around the coach. <laughs> around the coach, <laughs> it's, like, it's like no wonder. Yeah, he well, I gotta check my vibe check. Oh, me. it was so bad. I wanted to check his phone so much. I'm just kidding. <laughs> school didn't even handle I'm sorry, it that well. Someone's texting me. That's all right. Yeah, school didn't handle it well at all. We were because they didn't tell us anything. Like we would show up to like second period on a Tuesday. I remember and people. They people would were... not tell us anything. And then I remember having like secret circles and in, in Mr. Hill's class talking about feelings, even though we're not getting any. Oh, I remember that school. shit. <laughs> yeah, 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 I remember the circles. I around, see coach, be like. Oh, <laughs> sure. No, when he would check like, his phone. What's going on? When he would check his phone, he'd be like, I'm "Like the fuck are you looking at, buddy?" And he's like, "Oh, nothing, man." I was like, "Like oh. you can see him zooming in, like, like fucking <laughs> trying to zoom in on it and shit." But um. Yeah, I was gonna say. I remember someone from not not from our school. I was talking to him. He's like, "How's Rape Vista?" I was like, "What? Like, How's the fuck, how's the Rape Vista going?" I was like, "What the yeah, fuck?" Rape Vista. I was like, "What are you talking about?" He's like, "Your school, man. It's fucking pedophile central." I was like, "Oh uh, yeah." I was the like, whole, "Oh yeah." The that. whole district's like, messed up. You can call out one other high school saying the same thing and be like, "Wait, what? What are you talking about?" I'm like, Didn't hear. Something every school. Happened. Every school has their every demon. Every school in the Sweetwater district is 
the same. Even the district itself is like, didn't they like fucking lose money or some shit? You know, I, I think I think the school still has uh, that stuff going on. I think I've heard some like cases that haven't been uh, caught yet. <laughs> I think there's a lot of extra credit going around over there. <laughs> a lot of extra credit. Um, but, uh, a lot of fucking staying after school. <laughs> it's a lot of staying. No wonder there's an app. Saturday <laughs> school was the worst, dude. I had Saturday school and that shit sucked the most. Uh, so Saturday mad. school was the dumbest thing ever. It was boring. It does not help at all. You like, you guys remember? Just finding a way to punish. Wasn't you. there like a oh, fuck? What was it called? There was like a thing that would happen on what was it for? Oh, was it Saturday? I completely yeah, I forgot most of the. Team. I don't know if any of the absent a lot. Was it called when you're oh, absent? Yeah, you the uh, Saturday school. Saturday school. Well, house detention suspension. and and Saturday school. Yeah, remember Saturday school? Did you guys? Did you guys ever go to Saturday school? Yeah. I don't think Jimmy did. Just for the I hated it because yeah. like <laughs> there, there was did. one Saturday to. school. There was one Saturday school you were allowed to attend that would clear all your tardies and absences. Yeah. I did that, just like once a semester. Oh my God. Cleared all my tardies from being late to Castro's class. Oh, oh Castro! My oh my God! Bro, we, <laughs> Castro, bro, oh, I had Castro part now. He's still Dude, there. We Ramirez for Saturday started. school, and there was always drama. Ramirez. Not like with Ramirez, but there was always some bitch. Was always I forgot. I forgot. Ramirez was the what? What teacher was he? Peter guy. Yeah. Oh, the, the lab tech. Yeah, I do. I, I never had him. I want. Always wanted to have him. You should have him. You should have him. He used to play a Street Fighter in that in that room. I don't know if he still does. Anymore. Yeah, he oh, still he does. He's in, the room. he's in another room now. What? He's in another room. Yeah, they, they, they took his room away from him. The yeah. main room, the main room, right? The, the, the big, big one, right in the middle room. where the yeah. bathrooms oh, are. The, yeah, he's yeah, not there anymore. Do you know what it's used? Or is it like just a building? It's, it's used for uh, like technician shit. I think Miss Hill has it. It's a computer. Stuff. It's like yeah. It's like a base, like a little computer lab, but it's huge inside. Yeah. And basically, yeah. like you know, you could the guy would do videos in there, like during lunch periods, he would be playing. Sure, the, he wouldn't even fucking teach. He's like people. He, he'd be taking attendance. He's like Bill, are you here? He's like fuck you. He's like all right, he's here. He's like no one would fucking disrespect him. He'd be playing. He would be playing, would be playing oh, reggaeton yeah. music like at, at, at during lunchtime. I remember. Oh, I remember. Dude. I was in class and like so. He's like, hey, he's like, hey, Clyde, turn that down. He's like, shut the fuck up. He's like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't even care. Like, dude, he wouldn't fucking, care. Dude, you know what's funny, too? He didn't give a fuck. I'd literally throw the football in his class with all the computers. <laughs> oh, and not just that, he threw it with me. <laughs> he would tell me, hey, the, no more throwing the, the ball. I'm like, fuck, table. Dude, I threw at him, and then we just stopped throwing the ball. <laughs> I remember, I remember when the, just like that. Oh my God. the vice principal would come. He's like, all right, guys. Yeah, computers. He's like, the vice principal would come. He's like, all right, everyone, start studying. He's like, dude, no one's fucking doing shit in here, man. What the fuck are you talking about? Hey, hey Jimmy, remember that one time we went to Saturday school, and then it's like some, some person was trying to get in when she wasn't allowed to be? Oh, yeah, it was like some bitch. And then the guy's like, get out. He's like, no, we're not getting out. I'm like, get the fuck out. Just get out, man. Fuck. Yeah. She was funny as fuck. Like some, she's because she was a senior like us. I'm like, I don't give a fuck. Get out. Like the guy was getting mad. I was like, damn. Yeah. But um, unit. high school, I didn't go to. I didn't go to prom. I didn't go to any. I just, wanted, I, I just wanted to get the fuck out, man. <laughs> Dude, I, <laughs> I remember. I, I remember after prom because I was. Oh, I went to Lee's house after prom. Yeah, I ate I your chicken. Just, Oh yeah. <laughs> we we got chicken. chicken. No, 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 no. Like, like prom, it was so properly. Stupid. It, it was, was so good. stupid. The the okay, so we, we ordered salt and pepper chicken from from a Chinese food salt place. Pepper. And we went back to That's my house and like had some like cider and just like relaxed. Freaking Thomas was dead. Like he was so tired. You had all like your whole entire suit was just like <laughs> yeah, dude, I, had my, I was like, like were, bro, I'm trying to breathe up lean, in this bitch, dude. It was hotter than that. You were leaning in my couch. I'm like, man, Thomas is gonna pass out. It's only like one o'clock. He's it supposed to pass out. It was comfortable. It was yeah. nice though. Like, we yeah. were it was fun. It was chilling. Uh, Sam, really did you did chill. did you go to prom or homecoming? Or one of those? Yes, I did. Yeah. Both. I didn't want to. Grand you didn't want to. Yeah, Grand Night. Which, which one I didn't did go you? To Grand Night. Oh, you didn't. Yeah. I heard Grand Night was pretty shitty. Yeah, oh, it's shitty every year. What do you mean? Oh, I thought you were at Grand Night. Was- Oh no 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 no! Oh, I'm not okay. My bad, my bad. Oh. I was talking. I meant homecoming. Oh. My bad. Yeah, I, I, I went to Sam. Sam, which one did you like better, prom or um or homecoming? Yeah, prom definitely. Prom. Homecoming was like. Wait, was you didn't go first... to Grand Night. I didn't. Oh, you didn't? Did you go to the? I think we had a. The what breakfast. was it? Um, breakfast? Did you, you go to that? that? Are you scared of roller coasters? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that's why. Well. well, at least you didn't waste your money. My friends were like, I'll pay it for wasn't your a ticket. waste, Jimmy. 
someone who went didn't go on another any rides. At least you didn't waste your money like some people that we know that wasted yeah. their money for no reason. Wow. <laughs> I no, was he... shopping. <laughs> Hey, you, you're allowed to watch a, a free at the movies that was there. Oh yeah, <laughs> I, I remember Wonder Woman was uh, playing. Never seen that no, movie. No. Until, right? Oh no, I just I just like walking through Six Flags. It's so nice. And remember, especially at night time, oh. looks way better. Like oh, dude, uh, at night at over the red at, over at full throttle, <laughs> man. They were just like blasting out music. They had a bunch of lights. It was so. Why cool. was there like a fucking dance? There's like a dance floor. Like, is this fucking oh, yeah. the club or Six Flags? Yeah, they, they had like they had like five <laughs> different areas where you can like go and party. I saw like people like, fucking twerking and shit. I'm like, you're at Six Flags, pal. It's in the club in downtown. I was like, <laughs> hey, but Jimmy, here. how many people can say they were twerking at Six Flags in front of a DJ? <laughs> in front of a DJ? Any, I'm like, you're a minor, any. dumbass. I'm like, you're going to get... Six Flags going to get sued if anyone catch, sees this shit. But, um, yeah, oh, but I, I can imagine Jimmy at Grand Night. He would just be cursing out loud. <laughs> well, <laughs> no, you should have seen him on the roller coaster. Dude. Dude, he gets fucking hyped on a roller coaster. Once he gets on a roller coaster, he's like, yo, yeah, oh, fucker. Remember we were on the first one? We're like, holy shit. We're like fucking yelling the whole time. We're like, holy shit. Like, <laughs> fucking yelling. <laughs> Damn, dude. I went to Grand Night 2014, bro. And like, I think it was kind of, we got, we all got, we all had to wait like an hour. You had because, Disney, huh? Yeah, guess, Disney was, nah, Disney was dope, yeah. dude. I wanted yeah. to go to Six Flags. I've never been to Disneyland, Disneyland before. Isn't, I'll tell you this, though. The problem I had with my Grand Night was every single fucking day school in the district county was there oh yeah us too Everyone's. it was pat no. even getting on the, yeah everyone Jimmy, in the Jimmy, you, no there's a fuckload of there's a fuckload of people there man everyone like you know not from our district but from other all the schools. rides were basically taken i went on like you know teacup ride oh. ride. Oh. <laughs> teacup ride? yeah the teacup ride and then we, we try to get on the well it was called the screamo but like now it's i think it's called the incredibles now it used to be oh, called yeah. Oh, and California. Remember, remember going yeah. to uh, Hometown Buffet and then going oh, to yeah. the movie theater? Yeah, that was sick. You know, it was like 10 bucks for a hamburger at, at Grand Night. I thought that was Fuck cool. no. That's bullshit. Dude, mm. they should have made it like five fucking yeah, that's, $10. That's, that's Bro, bullshit. At Grand Night, when we went to Six Flags, dude, everything was so expensive, man. Fucking like, like a little tiny. I spent my money, dude. Fucking like oh, my God. <laughs> I care. I spent my money. So you want a water? That'll be... I go get like a water. It's like, like three dollars, dude. Like, 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 you want a bottle of water? It's twelve ninety nine. No. I'm like the Whoa, fuck. Like, no, 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 like if you're no. if you're fucking dehydrated, dude, you you're gonna die right in in front of yeah, water. That's why, like, like I don't yeah, understand. Water. Like twenty dollar water bottles, dude. You didn't yeah, know how to do that. it, guys. You did not know how to do it. You get that refillable cup. <laughs> I, I, I've been I've been to Six Flags like two times prior to that. I had a refillable cup. I brought that crap. Went to one place where I know they don't check for for getting refills and stuff. And I just used it. Oh, I, I, I just broke it to people's lockers and steal their waters. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but, Sam, did you go to the... Everyone puts their code at 69. Did you go to the, the breakfast easy. the day before or no? Like the hometown... I think we went to hometown buffet. It was the yeah, hometown, hometown breakfast. Food. Yeah, did you yeah. go to that? Senior breakfast that Mr. Olinger kept. <gasps> um, I think so. Yeah. I can't remember. Did you go to... If you oh, did, you would have... I really don't remember. <laughs> Wait, were you the same grade as us? Did you graduate 2018? Yeah, she, yeah, she did. Oh, okay. But um, did you go- so you went to the same prom as us, though, on the boat. Yes. Oh yeah. shit. Okay. But um, <laughs> yeah, I don't. Think <laughs> Everybody went to the same prom. Uh, uh, did you go there? Oh, did I you went, the, but like, did you have the boring. boat prom? We did. We had a different prom. Ours was scheduled like a bad boat. Hey, Leah, did you go to prom? <laughs> Leah. <laughs> Did I go to prom? I'm just kidding. I didn't. Yeah, you to prom? Me, you I honestly should have just went. Nah, man. Honestly, I would have been fucking bored as fuck just standing well, actually, there. It was actually honestly really fun. It was I'm pretty good. Went. Like, for, for a prom that's like school, when you think about it, it's like, it's pretty good for a prom. I almost didn't go to grad night, remember? And then I said I was going to go. It was like, <laughs> well, how much was it when well, when you went to grad night? How much was it for you guys? It was like, I think it was way like cheaper. 150. Yeah. 150, dude? That's Mine was like, one was like 120. <laughs> like, yeah. like, with $30 almost, almost didn't go to grad night. I remember I, got, I, ended, I ended up finally going, finding the sound like, fuck it, I'll go. I went to grad night. I almost just wanted, I wanted to get the fuck out, man. I didn't give a fuck. That's Dude, what I, I, I honestly yeah, yeah, after, like, after graduation, I was like trying to find Jim and he was already gone. I was like, remember, oh, remember Leah? I ran, I, ran, I, ran, I ran off after he graduated. Leah was like, what the fuck? I was like, come out of here. I'm fucking done here. I'll see you Did you guys bring weed on the trip? <laughs> you guys went to grad night? I'm pretty what? sure. Some people did. Dude, Ramirez everyone was paid in our was grad anybody, night. Were you in the Ramirez bus? I, I wasn't. No, we were. Was. Me and me and Thomas yeah. were. The, the Ramirez bus. I I heard 
<laughs> I, I had a friend who was in the Ramirez, oh, who was in Ramirez's class, and like Ramirez at the time, was, we were we were on a, on his bus. Yeah, he yeah. didn't care as much as he much back then, Once but now he I still think, doesn't get a fuck. I know, but I think as he got older, because <laughs> the reason why, because of fucking with with <laughs> Marvista at the time when all that scandalous shit started happening, the school was in those pre pedophiles. Yeah, yeah. Pre-pe- dude, pre- I think dude. Be- before <laughs> that there was also the bomb threat. That- <laughs> oh my god, a bomb threat! Oh I remember the wait, bomb threat. Were you there? That were shit you was there fun. Threat? Yeah, I was there wait, for the bomb threat. Was wait, are you talking about? Threat. Wait, what year of the bomb threat? It was like when we were in middle school when that happened. Yeah, uh, I remember that because I was literally threat. in the school right next to it. Guys, this is the funny. Sh- okay, so we had a bomb threat, and then the bomb threat turned into a fucking sniper, and like that shit was wait, funny. Wait, what? Yeah, it was what happened? Happened? It was, what happened? What was, was it? Like, was okay, it like so, something with science? Is it? Wasn't it like? No, no. Okay, so here's what happened. Okay, so. Like we all, it was like probably I think midday, maybe like I think it was already the day was almost over. We were stuck in our classrooms for hours. Yeah, what ended up happening was okay. So there was like a bomb threat being called, and we just I just finished a PE. So basically, mm-hmm. what ended up happening was when PE was over, we alarm the alarm went off for like hours, and we couldn't leave apparently. So the the I don't know who the gym teacher at the time was like <laughs> get this inside. So what ended up happening was we got a information from the PE. I think they got an intercom saying there is a bomb on campus. I'm like, well, then why the fuck are we in the BE room? Like, bro, let's, <laughs> work. Like, let's go outside. Dude. So then it went from a bomb threat and then it went to a, a sniper. The sniper shit was the funny. fuck? Yeah, it went from a, a bomb threat to a sniper. The That's bomb so threat lasted for a while because the next day it happened again. There was another bomb threat. Yeah, I remember that. Then it was consecutive like three times and then That's a lot so of people. Dumb. Yeah. So... Nobody wanted to go to school, which I'm like, dude, like, oh, and like, I wanted to stay because I didn't care. Like, dude, it's a, it's a I fake threat. <laughs> but like, no, everybody, everyone was not in school. The classes uh-huh. were cleared. I was in my last class for the day. So I just wanted to, you know, I, I don't care. Wait, I'll stick it out. So what happened though? Like, what really was it? Because it wasn't a bomb. It was like, no, it was a prank call. Basically, some, that's basically what it was. It was a fake prank call. Basically, some, ass, some asshole. Yeah, dude. Just trying to ruin my day. Like, dude, like, what are you it's fucking like? Phone. What do you, what are you, are you that demented remember, that you can't, like, you can't fucking just like let us have fun, dude? I, I remember, um, uh, our freshman year. I don't know if you guys were there. Um, I remember it was, I was with Jaime and some. <laughs> Bitch had a gun or some shit. And I remember that. Oh, no, I think, yeah. oh, I remember that. That was remember, like, everyone yeah. was running. Ramirez's uh, room is not the place you want to be during a lockdown. Me and Jaime, Jaime was just sitting there like, Jaime, let's get the fuck out of here. And then we we didn't even go to a room. We like try to leave the school, but it ended. I it was like, the problem was like, like a lot of these people like so were school threats. Like, now we're not really sharp. Uh, it was like some bitch had a gun and they tackled her. And then me and Jaime are like, oh shit. And like we were actually gonna leave. We we're gonna jump the fence and leave, but. The shit That's ended. Your strategy. You, I'm not gonna. I'm not getting shot. What year yeah, was I'm that? Not, for the I'm just. I'm just sprinting, man. No one's catching me. Hold on, I need to. <laughs> I need to look yeah, I'm out. Let me Fuck see that. Something. I'm gonna look for a school shooter. I'm like, I'm not gonna wait in my room, to, wait in the classroom to die. Fuck that. I'm out of here. That, yeah. that, I, start, that I started running when I heard pumped up kids start playing. I remember I heard some ghost. He was like, Oh my god! And all fucking everyone was running everywhere. I remember I saw the coaches. He's like, Go, go, go! I was walking the whole time. I'm just like. Jaime was Jaime didn't know what was going on. He's like, what's happening? And some teacher was yelling at me. She was like, get the fuck in here! And I'm like, hey, damn! Just what fucking. Really I'm not trying to get really shot, but to be honest, I'd rather get shot. Don't yeah. <laughs> go to Ramirez's room. It was not locked. I remember the teacher saw me and Jaime. <laughs> me and Jaime, and they they were telling us to go. And I'm like, no, I'm not. I'm fucking leaving. And I fucking left. <laughs> me and Jaime left. I just see you fucking spreading. I'm like, Jimmy, that's you. You're just like, fuck this shit. So, <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to ask you guys. There was a principal, I guess. It's, he's a young guy now. He used to. They they got rid of the old principal apparently. And like, uh, I don't even know what the fuck. I, the I, honestly, the like principal like never year. showed themselves. I don't know what. Yeah, the I don't even know. I don't remember who it was. Yeah. He was a, it's the, young, it's like the a guy, guy in his thirties. He's guy in his thirties. I remember our freshman year. I saw the principal once, and I think he was not a principal anymore. Oh yeah, he. They got rid of him. It was because of the sexual the pedophile shit. I don't know. No, well, there they, was just, uh, they just always cycle through uh, principals. Yeah. Like, every well, the problem was, like, remember, the was just... remember the PE? No, not PE. Uh, AP guy? Oh, man. That guy was a fucking... Wait, wait, wait. wait. What's the AP guy's name? He's an ass. Was I mean, he a was tall? Was he tall? tall? He's the guy who went senior, was senior, Mr. senior Oh, oh. Like, uh, that that mother... What do you mean? <laughs> that motherfucker. No, it's funny. Because, <laughs> because of us, Seniors. because of us, because we're always doing the football, we convinced him to open up the the gates to the field during lunch. And oh yeah, teaching. we kept hitting but, walls and shit. Yeah, because we kept fucking throwing the ball and hitting walls and teachers. Yeah. But you know, so they opened up the gate for us because they knew we were going to back down. 
But then after they opened the gate, a whole bunch of people, like, who, like all the soccer players and stuff, they kept putting their trash everywhere, and they fucking made it closed. Oh, yeah. 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 Everyone would blame the people the who played soccer had, there. Like, the Fuck the dumbasses, man. And, stuff. and they would also be playing soccer, like, Right, right by you guys too. Yeah, I remember. Remember Omar too. He he hated it. He hated the guys who played soccer. Yeah. When the ball went our way, he fucking grabbed it and kicked it on a roof. I was like, Damn. Oh yeah. I remember we, didn't do anything. we would always hit He's for like, it. We would hit. We would hit Forrest's the the teacher Forrest's uh, wall all the time. Yeah. He's like, stop hitting my fucking wall. I was like, the fuck. I remember, he, remember oh, yeah. he was like, remember the teacher, he was like talking like shit about the ball or something. And he's like, well, I didn't, I didn't vote for Bush. And he's like, well, what does that have, have to do with anything? With he's like, I didn't vote for Bush, but that's the way it is. So don't hit my wall either. I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck? I don't give a fuck about Bush, man. What does there that the, fucking mean? I have to <laughs> say, how many of the old teachers still there? Like, is Mr. Hurtado right. still there teaching there? Yeah, he's still I mean, there. You, you, you know what's funny? Yeah. You know what's funny? He was like, hit my wall one more, one more time. I'm taking that ball. And I went to the wall and I, I fucking knocked it. I was like, and he fucking yeah. heard it. Oh, yeah, we ran, ran out. Like, the slam. <laughs> like that. Bum, bum. And then he came out, came out fucking like opening the door. He's like, all right, give me that fucking ball. And I was like, <laughs> shit. was scary, bro. It's fun. I'm like, dude, it, it wasn't even the ball. It was my fucking fist. Take my fist. It's it's fun take my fist. I'll give you yeah. this thing instead. Oh, well, the teachers fucking hated us, man. Just don't be those guys on YouTube. Do like the, you know, the, the, the teacher, uh, students versus teacher cops. They oh, my God. Dude, was, I, I watched so many this week, dude. They're so funny to watch. I mean, I know Leah remembers. Um, I think when we were, for some reason, when we were seniors, we could say whatever we want in class. Like, me and Leah. I think Sam, you were there, too, when we were in Calc. Like, I, we would just say stupid shit, and the teacher would never say shit. Like, <laughs> never. Remember remember, I said fuck really loud? I think Leah was there. And, really and, and in class, and everyone, like, fucking started laughing. Like, fuck! And everyone's like, I was like, oh, fuck. And the teacher didn't do shit. I was like, <laughs> I was like you're not going to do shit? At least kick me out. I'm just gonna keep cussing. I'm just kidding. But um, yeah. For some reason, we got older. The teachers didn't give a fuck. Yeah, I know. Uh, this, well, they just, I understand some of them. Ramirez did really give a fuck. You cuss him out. He wouldn't give a fuck. Like fuck you, Ramirez. He's like, all right, all right, Bill. I'm like, what the is, fuck? That, is, is that why English yeah. teachers still teaching there? I forget her name though. She started with a D. Um, Dunnigan. Their name? Deborah? De- Deborah? I don't know. If she used to teach like in the corner. <laughs> I mean, Leah, Leah, you remember the uh, right on Calc I'm, when that show used to happen? I'm just looking at like she's a, she's a, she's a white lady who was always nice, Mrs. Wright. I think I'd say you have you have okay, right now it's like Welch. I the, remember Welch, it might be Welch, Dunnigan also, it might be Welch. Is she like that? She have she has she's blonde, right? Or Burnett. Oh, yeah. Okay, so that's I fucking hated her ass with a passion because she never liked me, right? <laughs> <laughs> fucking want her to die, dude. Like low key. Oh, but she's so nice. She, no, well, she is. But here's the problem, though. That nice ass persona. She's like Ellen DeGeneres. That shit is only for the for the looks. Dude, now honestly, when you when you're in her class, bro, she fucking judges you so goddamn hard, dude. Bro, I, nah, dude. We had this. Lies. Dude, we had this teacher in middle school. Okay, who, she's the who? fucking devil. All right, she's name literally drop. She's <laughs> she's name drop. Who? Okay, first who? of all, she's like a 67 year old virgin. Who talks shit if you want to have sex? Damn, she's that old. Like she's like Catalina? Oh, She's literally the. Catalina. What are you talking says, about? If you have sex, you're going to hell. I'm like, God damn. Oh, you didn't do- She taught religion, but she's an atheist. I was, I was <laughs> confused. And like, <laughs> she talks shit every fucking day. One time, I brought a notebook. It wasn't the right notebook. She wanted it wanted like a college notebook, and I had like a fucking just a normal one. And she fucking like tried to suspend me. That fucking bitch. So I was I tried to get out of the <laughs> uh, You did yeah, you go to IP Charter? Or did you go to MV with No, huh? he, he went he went to IB. Yeah, I went to oh, IB wow. middle school. Wow. Order, yeah. You were one of those kids. Yeah. I was the first seventh grader and the first eighth. We did though, right? right? Sam, you went to Marvis uh, uh, middle two, huh? Yeah. I mean, did no, you? I was no? in <laughs> Oh wow. I yeah. thought you went to middle middle. I almost went to Mar Vista yeah. Middle, but I didn't because uh, when I went to visit there, there's a lot of fucking cockroaches in the bathroom. So I was like, "Oh god, I'm the, good." They, they were everywhere. Like yeah, you could no, just be it was walking in like, like, school. So I was like, I, I graduated at that middle school from sixth grade. And I know Leo remembers like all those classes where we, I would fucking yell, and the teacher would never like hear shit. Like uh, our calc teacher. Uh, what was that one that we had for AP US probably, history? Probably because you were you were. A good student, like you had A's. Yeah, but I'll be like, "Fuck!" and then be like, like "You weren't fuck? that loud, Jimmy." Well, that one time I was. When well, everyone fucking you. heard. They didn't care if you heard. <laughs> I don't know. You, sh- you should have heard Jimmy in a PE. We're pretty loud. <laughs> oh yeah, and PE we're fucking loud. <laughs> except for I think he just heard that one time in Case's class. He yeah, he didn't say he didn't do shit though. Like he didn't do anything. 
He just he, fucking he kept. Said, he, no, he said something. He kept teaching. Like, he's like, it was like nothing. So he like he stopped writing for a second. Off. I was like, fuck. He's like, all right, uh, this is uh, how you do it. I was like, the fuck. He didn't even care. But um, yeah, that was well, it. You, you know what my uh, my uh, chemistry teacher told me? He told at graduation he went to my ear and whispered, "I just gave you a C. Honestly, you weren't gonna make it, so I just." <laughs> let you go. I was like, shit, thanks. Thanks. I can't tell if he's joking, <laughs> but honestly, that's the last thing he said to me. <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't know, but I did see him uh, not that long ago at a at a fucking. I was gonna go fishing in this area, and he was there. I never said hi because that hurt my feelings. Hurt <laughs> feelings. But um, oh, he was cool. He was actually a really cool chemistry teacher. I like him. Well, we're, sorry, well, I don't know we, if you remember Mr. Ashley? Well, we were talking about with Nico that we should bring on fucking uh, Nick Lauder on the podcast. Nick oh Lauder. my god. If he was on here, man. We should get Joe oh, Rogan too to be on the podcast one day. Well, how how do we even talk to Nick? How would I we remember, talk to? I remember Nick on prom night. That Nick, was probably the happiest I've ever seen the kid. Nick on is on prom night. He was yeah. the most most popular kid of our grade, man. Nick. <laughs> <laughs> you sound such a legend, dude. He was he was a fucking legend. Remember in uh <laughs> fucking high school legend. I know Leah had this class with me. The AP, which one was it? Our tenth grade AP class, the history, and where we'd have presentations, and Nick would do them. I think Sam was there too, right? Were you in that class with uh, Were you Ms. Tayas? Um, Ms. Tayas? I remember Ms. Tayas. Oh, my year. No, but we would, have these, huh? we would have these presentations and Nick would be like, all right, guys, don't tell anyone about this outside of here. I was like, why would we tell anybody? He's like, I'm going to teach all of you. I'm like, the fuck? And he would start yeah, presenting. I was like, I was <laughs> ready to learn world history. Uh, I, I love Nick, dude. He's funny. I remember me and, me and Justin were fucking dying. We're like, <laughs> The way he was talking, but Dude, um, I think the whole class was trying so hard. Not even Miss Tayas was like, "Get your dick!" He was like, "Fucking dying too." Get your little dick out of here. <laughs> hey, hey, do you remember Miss Mac? Miss Mac. Oh, Miss Mac. I know oh, Big Mac. <laughs> Big Mac. Dude, she was uh like she didn't really she didn't really like men. Big she was, she was like anti fucking uh she was anti men. She was like, if I had a pocket penis, I'd be more successful. I'm like, the fuck? What are you talking <laughs> about? Oh yeah, pocket penis. <laughs> So oh, if I had a penis, I'm like, is that is that even real? Was... Pocket... No, nah, now you got me googling shit. <laughs> no, it's not real. She made that up no. on the spot. Hold on, let me see, let me see. But if she I... was a feminist. I I'm, I'm gonna look up right now. She's like, only because yeah. men do it. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about, man? Dude, she was cool, but she... fuck that bitch gave me a C when I deserved a fucking A. But whatever. That was like the only time oh, I ever got a B. Are you sure you deserved an A, Thomas? Are you yes. sure? That was like the I only time. Fluent fucking student. That was like the only time I ever got a B in a in an English class was with her. Probably because I'm a man. I'm just okay, kidding. okay. Here's what happened, guys. So I googled pocket oh. penis, you know? <laughs> and that shit is real. It's fucking real. A pocket uh, penis. Holy. Well, it's kind of weird though. <laughs> she would. Uh, she would go on long rants. He's like, put on the camera. No, I'm just kidding. Oh my god. Yeah, I don't want to get this video demonetized. I have to blur it. Like, uh, blur give, it. give Jimmy some editing. Put it on. <laughs> nah, man. Just don't be. Hey, just don't, don't Google docking though. Don't do not Google docking. <laughs> <laughs> docking. Docking, bro. You don't you don't dock, bro. I, I used to dock with my bros back in the day. <laughs> Venmo, Venmo me that image. <laughs> but um. Docking on spot. You know. <laughs> Add me on Tumblr. Yeah, Tumblr. Tumblr? Twitter. Twitter. Tumblr so follow me on my Tinder and then send me there. That's kind of weird. That's kind of weird if you have Tumblr these days. But I mean, if you have Tumblr, I, I used to rock Tumblr back in the day. But like that shit. No, 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 no. MySpace. No. Dude, message me on Kick. Uh, <laughs> fucking Kick. Oh shit, we're going that but back. Oh yeah. We send me a fucking. Kick was so stupid. Send me a PM on MySpace. We have MySpace. <laughs> You know, MySpace is still here, like, I, but it's still it's used for music now. Apparently, people are just what the fuck? music on there. What yeah, the that's fuck? weird. I went back to it just to see if, like, oh, let me see how MySpace has been a couple years later. So, it you can basically make like it's kind of like Facebook, so you can still you know make your profile and shit, and then basically you can you can have listen to people's music or mixtapes. Yeah. Which is what you know that what's that white chick from MTV, the one that's on uh, Ridiculousness? I forgot her. Oh, Chanel, Chanel West Coast. Yeah, South so Coast? She, yeah, she show. she's on there. Her music is on, which is trash. What the fuck? Her. Yeah, her music oh. is trash. <laughs> she's on there, running, <laughs> running her music, and she has a clothing line too that I guess is, has like a skater vibe with it. You know, well what she's white. I don't fucking know, bro. She's her, her vibe. It's honestly fake. I can just tell it's like hella fake. Uh, all the, everyone on there's fake, man. She needs uh, to get rid of that West Coast because she ain't no goddamn no. West Coast rapper. Yeah. But I know a good topic. Uh, Sam, what's your favorite kind of? Uh, well, I should just ask, who's your favorite artist, like music, that you listen to the most? 
Uh, uh, Jay Balvin, right? <laughs> Jay Balvin. Not- hey, Jay Balvin, yo, Jay Balvin. I'm about to drop by McDonald's and get that meal, though. Yeah. Not gonna lie. Hey, I got. Hey, I'll tell you this. It? It's not worth it, bro. It's not the Jay Balvin meal. It's fucking. Uh, it's not. It's not but, worth it. But who? If if yeah, you got a McFlurry in it. So who, who would be your favorite who artist? Yeah, One of them. It doesn't have to be like your most favorite, but. Mm, talking. I think. Mm. I don't know. Bon Jovi. Bon Jovi. Bon Jovi. Yeah. Oh, shit. Like, about yeah. I even have the <laughs> <laughs> I love to, yeah. Don Bon Jovi. Yeah. Yeah. You listen to like more um, older right. older music, basically, or, or do you yeah. listen to more modern? No. Yeah. Um, I mean, both. Like, both. Yeah. Um, yeah. Hands of music. Yeah, music this year we talked about it a lot of times on this podcast. It's like the year of the female, you know. Like uh, <laughs> females are coming up now. <laughs> Let's think about all the big, the fucking monster yeah, artists. It sound like it's one of the uh, zodiac signs. Zodiac. Year of the female. It's the year up. of the <laughs> Capricorn. I'm just kidding. About. I think well, female uh-huh. artists have been around for a while. The problem was they were they, the biggest names in in you know I wouldn't say hip hop just in general like any. The, the pandemic was like a blessing to the to it female was, artists. Dude, or some a lot shit. of artists like they fucking use opportunity to basically put some like all like cardi b are gonna grind it like oh everyone's stuck at home let's push I our think, music down their uh, throats cardi b dro- yeah cardi b drop shit meg the stallion dude and oh by the way you know tory lanes right you know the whole oh yeah shot. so basically today he it's was cap. just charged because yeah he's he, he's he just got charged today with a uh, second degree um you know a, a assault with a weapon he literally he capped could her be facing 23 years damn dude 23 years in prison for tory lanes bro he's gonna go to jail for 23 why did he shoot her man that's a dumb man it, it, they said, okay, so from the stories back and forth, apparently Tory Lanez and them had an altercation. There was alcohol involved, which it. is probably what led to that. What, what I don't understand is, though, why <laughs> did fucking Tory Lanez pull out a gun, dude? Why did he, he does, shoot her? No, state of California. <laughs> he, he, it was a, apparently it was a bad <laughs> He shot her in the foot. Why in the foot, too? Like, the fuck? It's a weird which, spot. by the way, keep in mind, too, made the signs, like, I think, five. And she's, like, like, she's, like, six foot something. I think she's tall. I know she's, oh, I know she, she, looks, she looks tall, yeah. Yeah. Tory Lanez is short. He's like five Dude, six. Tory Lanez is like he's like five two. Like he's fucking short. What if he was he's mad because like, she's taller? He's like you fucking bitch. And he shoots her in the foot. Hey, but she, <laughs> hey, but she now you're not gonna fine. stand. But she is fine though. Anyway, so Tory Lanez shot in the she's foot. She's alright, yeah. And then basically the whole it was an investigation going on. And it lasted for like two months already. And they they just charged good. Well, because Tory did he drop an Tory album too? Had, he just dropped an album too. Yeah. Well, he my problem, like, to drop the album. <laughs> yeah, Tory got, it, I heard it's it's pretty good apparently. But he's shot foot. If <laughs> he could be facing twenty years <laughs> prison, if <laughs> the problem is, Dude, that's though, crazy. The gu- they f- if the gun is traced back to Troy Lanes and he f- he shot it in a you know in a L.A. public building, he could be facing twenty three. Yeah, twenty three years in prison, and he could possibly be deported. Which deported? So, God damn! Hey, he, he could be going back to Canada. Bro. Which I'm like, bro, take this shit, go to Canada. The best way. Know, to- just leave the country, man. Fuck it. I didn't even know he was from Canada. I swear <laughs> to God, I thought he was like from like the oh, come back where you came from. Huh. He's. he's- <laughs> But yeah, it's been a year of the female man. I mean, I haven't seen any big male songs like at all. Like the fuck. weekend, he dropped some shit this year, dude. The weekend been dropping shit. Blind that shit, mind. yeah, his shit was pretty. It was pretty. Like it was trending for a bit. But like Twenty One Savage dropped his album. Oh, day. Metro was it Metro Boom Two, right? Yeah. Twenty One is Savage, kind of Savage Two. He's kind of the the problem with Twenty One Savage he's ba- is like he's basic, man. His music is yeah, his 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 flow is so like low and it's just the same thing. Like Twenty One, I'm like, dude, change think, it up. I think he's just like back in time. Like he's taking us back to like, 2016. <laughs> it's just the same back. thing. He's like Twenty One. Yeah. I'm like, dude, it's the same beat for every song. Just name you know it the same. It, though? Like, name your album, album is the same. All the people, like the young people, did not understand because if you saw the album cover of the the Metro Boom Two, people were fucking calling that shit trash. I'm like, guys, that's the homage to fucking No Limit. That's what No limit did back in the day these not yeah. album covers like that people were saying that shit was trash <clears throat> and then yeah so it's these albums years have been really bad i know six nine uh, the album oh that shit's trash man dude six, dude six nine dude he's what he, he well he's well is he, it six nine in the hospital no he yeah well no he got out he's uh he overdosed on caffeine and fucking <laughs> Wait, caffeine <laughs> yeah he, got, he overdosed on caffeine pills and weight loss pills man he's like a short fat mexican dude so i guess yeah well he he, he said he he weighed one he weighed about almost 200 pounds in prison I'm a, like, what the fuck he must have been eating well or something must well yeah he probably didn't work out he's trying to get down to 155 anyway yeah. he's he dropped the album job and sucked it's trash, then trash, big trash, sean trash. dropped the, uh, big oh, his, his, Detroit. The, the only song i liked on, i mean i liked all of them but the moment the one i liked the most was deep reverence with fucking uh 
Nipsey. That shit was clean. That was his best song on that album for sure. Hey. I like the the Friday night, the Friday night software was pretty good. I like that was that good one. too. That yeah, was a pretty good one. Tory Lane's album was actually but pretty good think, too. Yeah, I have to hear. It yet. I'm you know I'm not a huge fan of Tory Lane's. I think Tory Lane's is he's okay because the problem is he's just like he's like every Canadian artist. Like you know like he has like a good you know R and B type of vibe. But my like, dude, you have, remind me of T Pain, Usher, <laughs> T Pain, you know. just oh, just following the pattern. Yeah, dude, T Pain was the king R and B. He was a shit well, back then. He was a shit. All his, but like I feel he's in Drake's shadow personally. Oh yeah, for sure. He's for sure. living in Drake's shadow. He's been in Drake's shadow ever since Drake. His rap flow is pretty his his it's, yeah, it's gotten his, better. His rap flow is good, but like dude. I feel like he's gotten better over the years. And I'm his glad rap. too that the And I'm glad too that the weekend decided not to sign with fucking Drake because that would have been bad. I think I feel like they are like I don't, yeah. the problem I don't even like I don't like Drake, dude. I really don't. I think Drake's okay, but like I just don't like him as an artist. Like I feel I mean, like he's too shady. He's, he's the best of this decade, but yeah, he's. But there's problems with that. I just don't agree with, bro. Because have you noticed that like all the artists that he promoted like aren't big anymore? Like I mean, Party Next Door, not big. Hit, I think Party that guy just Party. that guy just doesn't prom- like really drop shit very often. He's not. That's the, that's the problem with Drake, dude. He's not a promoter. He's not a biz. He's not a label. Like he is an artist. It's like with Eminem. Eminem. Remember, he has artists too in his label that he doesn't never made a big, <laughs> yeah. Like, D, like, yeah, D, like, what was it, D12 and shit? Yeah, well, yeah. no, no, D, it was a rap group, but there was like CeeLo Green, not big anymore, Joe yeah. Budden, not big anymore, trash. Um, he, he, he did sign a couple of new people, he hasn't signed Jordan yet. Jordan Lucas is not, he has not signed Jordan yet, which I don't know why he hasn't done it yet. Just sign the guy, but whatever, yeah. But, but yeah, music, I don't, I don't, music has been a, been a definitely year of the female though, but um. I know another topic we had on here that wow. Wow. um TV shows. So Sam, you said you you would you say your favorite show is um Thirteen Reasons Why or one of them? What? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna say anything. You don't like that show, Leah? Shit is lit. No, no, it's not that I don't like it. It's fucking clean. Sam, Sam, you you go first on this one. This is your floor. I mean, yeah, just uh, I mean- yeah. It's okay. I I like the that seventy show um mode yeah. more. Yeah. I don't know. It's more. Oh, I love that yeah. show. Yeah. So, I don't like that show no what, more. What shows? Dude. What 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 have you been watching? <laughs> what have you been watching lately? Just you ever since that? ever since COVID. Um, pretty much that seventy shows. Yeah, that's the only yeah. one show. I yeah. Did, did really you like, about, uh, uh, what, what was it called? Clyde? Like, or? Hyde. Hyde. The, the, Hyde. The, after yeah. that. The Wait, actor I, played Hyde, uh, isn't he like a pedophile or something? Something like that. It's crazy. They yeah. took it off Netflix. Didn't they take off Destiny Show on Netflix? Off of Netflix? No way. I think yeah. it's on Hulu. It's on yeah, Hulu, the but they took it off of Netflix because oh. of like all the... Oh, my God. No, he was also playing on the, the ranch, too. And appara- mm-hmm. I, I'm not completely sure because I haven't seen it. But apparently they like did something with his character because of what that. the fuck well from what i heard about the ranch situation was like in 2014 there was like people were accusing him of being you know be being a uh, huge sexually assault. apparently he sexually assaulted two people on set god damn yeah there's like that's a problem this i understand bro is like what's up with hyde's character bro and like the problem you know danny matches madison bro like he he was fired from that show well they kill off his character i know that damn but, like what i don't understand is like now years later the uh, his his career is kind of coming back and firing because now he's being hit with two more sexual ca- sexual assault cases, you know that were. And the problem is too, he's with the the what's that church called that Tom Cruise is with? I forgot what it's called. Scientologist. Yes, he's a Scientologist. So he's Sweet with that. Joke. He's with that. And guess what happens? I guarantee you, because right now he's he's gonna go to trial, and I'm pretty sure that Scientology people are gonna have his back. He's gonna. Oh he's gonna, my god! Yeah. I, I'm telling you, it's happened. Look at yeah. look at. There's some there's people in that sketchy Scientology like yeah. who, who will get away with it. And I think Danny, he might get with it. He's kind of lucky so far, but we'll have to wait. Yeah. But I still I can't watch that Sandwich show anymore because it's like, dude, he was my favorite character. Yeah. <laughs> and now he's a rapist. I, I love the Sandwich show. I, was... I love that show, dude. Yeah, that show's lit. But I'm. Um, the show the water. <laughs> The other, sh- uh, what was that other show? The Thirteen Reasons Why. I couldn't, I, I didn't get into that because I don't really like teenager drama type shows because it's usually everyone's doing something very, very dumb to resort to that. That's true. So I don't know. I, I thought every character in that show pissed me off. I honestly just watch it more for entertainment. I mean, I, I, was... I it was a social thing. Yeah. Like I think, yeah. I think it dropped on our on our junior year. It, it yeah. Dropped in our junior year. Yeah. That's for sure. And that then it was up. like trending. 
And then like everybody was talking about it. They're like, "Hey, yo, like, did you did you watch Thirteens? I'm like, no. "It was good. It was really good." But yeah, I think they should have ended it personally after the season one. I they could have. They could have done that. Yeah. Because per- personally, they failed with their whole entire like suicide thing. Three, three and four should have were, were trash. The season they made four. it. They made it a joke about like a basically it turned into a joke about suicide because huh. of how popular it got. And so uh, they just like, cut it there. There was so much controversy about it. This should have ended it after season overall, two. Overall, the show's, the show's content, it should have ended after season one. Like, you didn't need to, you need to bring it back. Yeah, you I can look put it a story, and you finish the story, but then you had to put a what's next on it, and now you're at the what's <laughs> next, like, three years later. Yeah, they, they finally season ended it uh, with season end four. It. They finally ended it. I mean, they might have stretched it out to too long, but you guys uh, seen F is for Family? <laughs> they rode on it, but now yeah, I, I watch way too much TV. But Thirteen Reasons Why is on my, <laughs> it's on my watch list. I'll get it to you years later. It was good. It's just it got <laughs> kind of season three was bad because that one annoying narrator girl. She was so fucking annoying. Man. Out of all things, me, I expect. Yeah, you're like the yeah. least person to watch that show, in my opinion. I watched it because it's entertaining. I, I don't give a fuck it. about anyone on the show. It's just you guys watch that show? <laughs> you guys watch that show? Shameless. You ever seen that one? No, oh, I've, I've seen. I've seen some. Dude, of it. you guys have to watch that. Honestly, it's it's on Netflix. It's like it's on like gonna be eleventh season. And it's yeah, really, damn. It's good. I'll tell you. It's like, and it's because it's not because it's it's a mature show, by the way. It's like very TM, TMA, but like it's it's so relatable to people because like you know just the stories and whatnot. Highly recommend. Best, best shows I've seen. I don't know if um, you guys will like it, but Narcos. Um, Which one? There's two I heard more. both. I, both of them are okay. sick. Um, I heard it was good. Ozark was fucking amazing. Black Mirror, which isn't really a TV show, it's more like episodes. They they're really good. They I, don't wanna, they, I think I want an Emmy this year. Black yeah. Mirror. They don't have it. Yeah, they don't have anything to do with each other, but they're all really good. Honestly, the only Breaking show, Bad. Fuck, honestly, man. oh, I love Breaking. I'll never watch that show. I'm sorry. It's I so fucking. It's so fucking can't good. Why, why can't you slide into Breaking Bad? I just, so good. I just can not because no, like every every time no, I see that fuck, show. I, but let me guess. Did you not get past the first episode or what? I couldn't like, get what happened? the fact that Walter White was Malcolm's dad. That's the reason why. I oh, oh, my God. No, no. But after you watch Breaking Bad, you get over that. And dude, you that guy. The way around. That guy, uh, bad, bro. Brian, <laughs> Brian Cranston, dude, as, that was one of the best performances I've ever seen. He's that dude, good. I didn't, I didn't watch Breaking every t- Bad. Every time I watch. He's so good. Every time I watch the show, I just see fucking like Malcolm's dad. Like, hey, hey, Hal, how you doing? You won't, you won't see him that way very, very, you know, very soon. He became a drug dealer and had a. Family. He went He's, crazy. That was one of the best acting performances I've ever seen. Honestly, the only shows I've been really watching lately is just Naruto. I just been fucking yeah. watching that. I mean, do you, do you, Sam and Leah? Do you guys watch anime? Because I know we do. We watch I watch I, I'll, the only anime <laughs> anime I watch is Beyblade. You don't watch it? Beyblade. Beyblade. Yes. Let it reap. Let it, let it root. I was like. <laughs> it the is anime. amazing. Okay, it has it actually has a good storyline that I'm into. Does it? Baby. I never watched it. I just kind of played the toys for anime. If you want to get the it. toys, if I you want to, mine. Hey, let's you, play, bro. I, I, you want to bet? Hold on, hold on, bro. <laughs> if you want thousand dollars, which one you want, bro? Oh, I still have mine somewhere. Oh, get the metal one. Get Pegasus? the metal. Where's the metal one? Pegasus. Yeah. Let me get the metal one. I have a uh, to get it to get into anime. You got you kind of got to watch for a bit. You can't just watch one episode. Dude, I watch yeah. all the love story Wait, anime. Sam, have you watched yeah. anime? Like anime? Yes, no. Anime. No, she hasn't. Oh, uh, okay. I the mean, only watch anime I watch is Avatar: The Last Airbender because Avatar: The Last Airbender is an anime. It's a I'm Western kidding. anime. It doesn't count. Yeah, Actually, it doesn't it's count. Not an anime. <laughs> it does anime at all. It, it was made in the anime. West. It was made on over. It's, it was made over here. So it doesn't count. That's yeah. kind of crazy how people actually back in the day kept saying that Avatar was an anime. Yes, yeah, it was Japan animation. That's what they call it. I'm like, I'm barely getting into anime. Like you know, I've only watched like Dragon Ball and most of Dragon Ball. So the mainstream Ball. stuff, not nah, the. You have movie. to watch this show called B Stars. It's really dope. Okay, so someone okay, okay. Show I can talk to you about B Stars, dude. Yeah. That show was so weird. I was. <laughs> And that it was, get, I, I, right now it's getting weird. it'll get weirder when you watch the the next season because I just I saw the poster. Uh, the did it poster. drop yet? Or yeah, I did. It I just found now. out that the, new, the poster, just, not not new season yet. Dude, oh, I just but, found out what senpai means. 
Oh my god! Oh yeah. It, it mean it just means that you're like a higher like um grade than that person. So if you go somewhere like oh, senpai, they're <laughs> actually like a grade ahead of you. So yeah, that's, that, that's what that means. I did not need to hear that in my headphones. <laughs> <laughs> but but uh, Naruto. Yeah. Yeah, Naruto has been really fucking good. But I don't so, know if you guys, I don't know if you two would like it. What's your guys' favorite reality show? Is it yeah, favorite rea- favorite, favorite uh, reality reality how like just like reality uh, like The Bachelor or like reality MTV? Um, that's not not non anime. There's okay, different types of reality favorite? TV because like you have MTV that goes like all, all okay, okay, crazy okay, okay. with their okay, reality okay, TV. Okay, never mind. What's your favorite <laughs> uh, show that is not a cartoon? Yeah, like not anything that's not anime or cartoon. Like real li- real life, not porn. Yeah. We're not porn. Okay. <laughs> porn. <laughs> yeah, hentai doesn't count. Neither does uh, pornographic films. So Dude, that's what X videos is all about. <laughs> oh my god. Well, I'm on uh, personally, I don't have anything. Any favorite shows? Really? There, was a, there was a show. I, I have a lineup of that. shows that I need to like watch and catch up on. Oh my god. Like, I literally just finished out like the whole entire Vampire Diaries collection. Oh, that's like, true. Yeah. I straight up went. All three, like Vampire Diaries, Originals, and now I'm at Legacies, and I just finished that. Uh, how about so, Sam? I way too much TV. <laughs> Sam, what's your favorite show, like, ever, of all time? I don't know. I don't really <laughs> watch. It's just that session. That's a new show. That's it. And no. a lot of SpongeBob, though. <laughs> SpongeBob. <laughs> SpongeBob. Pro, pro, yeah. For me, SpongeBob. probably Power Rangers. Probably Power Rangers. Power Rangers? Oh, dude, yeah, I, I mean, remember when Power Rangers were badass, and then they childproofed that shit. Yeah. Favorite, my favorite, <laughs> my favorite show ever, uh, anime or non-anime. Um, fuck man, it's hard. Maybe Breaking Bad or Ozark, uh, Naruto, fucking Dragon Ball. I don't know. They're all fucking good. Well, what about what about how about this? What's you guys' favorite childhood show? Oh yeah, what's your favorite childhood show? If you guys Most, can remember. Oh, actually no. I I'm like a, I, I look at that all day. Every day. <laughs> I have oh. Disney Plus for a reason. Holy shit. Uh, <laughs> Uh, well, I don't I'm know. just trying to watch <laughs> SpongeBob. It's probably, not- <laughs> I don't know. Probably Wizard of Waverly Place, in my opinion. Oh, that was a good one. <laughs> about if, Sam, if I'm not watching Power Rangers, I was most likely watching that. Yeah, I grew, up on, life. I grew up on the Proud Family. That was my. Pleasure. That's good too. Yeah. How about Sam? What's your favorite um, kid show or ch- your childhood show? You can- um. Any? No, maybe Power of Girls. <laughs> <laughs> Girls. That was a shit too. Oh, early. Uh, my, mine was <laughs> Dora the Explorer. Holy shit! Oh, okay. Spanish one. Oh, oh, you, you want to go green, all the way back? Where's your green card, bro? You know she didn't cross. Mine. Mine, you bitch. Mine was um. <laughs> it was um. Oh, mine, like, where's your, where's your green card? <laughs> green card, at, bro. You know, <laughs> she, you know, you know yeah. she didn't. She that's what. That's what. Backpack held more than immigration. Immigration. Bro, she had a match everywhere. <laughs> Mine was uh, Wawa Wubsy. I'm just kidding. No. Wawa Wubsy. Hey, yo, I messed with that. Diego? That is good. <laughs> <laughs> no, my favorite. I messed with that. Uh, my favorite, yeah. favorite would probably be like Spongebob or some uh, shit. Yeah, same here. Favorite yeah. Spongebob, Teen so Titans. Shit. Teen Titans, yeah, Teen that was shit. No, the, for her, the first Teen yeah. Titans. Uh, Robot I could, Chicken. I could, I could watch that, like, all those shows, like, right now if I wanted to. Oh, yeah, I still can't do. Oh, Danny Phantom. Danny Phantom. That Hulu, show was trash. Hulu. Yeah. Okay, I, okay, I Carly. I'm leaving right now. I'm leaving right now. I cannot stand in a room with a kid that's like, oh, that's, that's like that's like Timmy Turner. That's like Timmy. Ed, Turner. Ed, and Eddie. I Carly. <laughs> oh, are you are you working off the theories? Dude? We can go to Boomerang. Like Timmy Turner when he's all grown up. Same yeah, guy. That's, that's same Timmy. Guy. That's Timmy. That's Timmy. Wow. <laughs> that's Timmy. Yeah, what what about conspiracy theories of childhood shows? Like we were watching us. Uh, there's an oh, the episode. Suicidal Squidward? Yeah, there was a video. It's still on YouTube. It's called, apparently, Nickelodeon got, like, a haunted episode called Squidward Suicide. And then he fucking kills himself. And, um... What Wait, about the Rugrats? the story, like, uh, something about, like, in the studio room, there's, like, blood and shit? Cause someone yeah. Just... I think he, he went to... You know that episode where he's playing a clarinet for the crowd? I guess cause they booed him, and he got so fucking depressed that he fucking killed himself. I was like, what the fuck? There's a video on fucking YouTube. It's just kind of creepy. Kind of creepy so though. Weird. It's disturbing. Don't don't watch it. Disturbing. If you guys want to watch it, don't watch it at night. Sam or Leah, don't watch that shit at night. Yeah, we watch that shit at night. We watch that shit at night. We were we were shitting ourselves after. Dude, we gotta do like a scary video for <laughs> Halloween. Yeah. Like you know you know, you know what we do? have to, you know what we should do yeah. like me, Wildcat, Thomas, only one day is like 
watch scary shit and, re- and just react to it. Like, yeah, let's uh, play a game, dude. Live reaction to scary shit instead let's of UFC. Let's, let's play a scary we game, honestly bro. recorded our reaction. Yeah, the Ouija board. Yeah. The Ouija board. Oh, fuck no. Fuck, fuck. no. Fuck, no. Bullshit, fuck, fuck that, that shit. I'm not doing that shit. I'm not getting, into people? I'm not getting cursed. Not? See the Ouija that. board? Fuck oh, that fuck. shit. Fuck just no. Remember, just, you just no. remember to close the board at the end, dude. Well, we, we'll yeah. watch scary shit, but we're not watching that shit. I think there's a there's like a fucking like devil game called... Uh, what was it like? I think dude, we gotta play a horror game. I would love to play a horror game. What Have you ever heard of One Man Hide and Seek? Oh, God. Oh, yeah, I've heard of that shit, yeah. You get a doll, it could be a mannequin, no, no matter what size, and I think you like you gotta do shit to it, like fucking like put your dna in it and then like i do a few things like put red string or some shit tie it up fill it up with rice put in water put a knife near it and be like you gotta say like certain things and oh, you gotta fuck. be like, uh you're it or some shit come and find me holy like, fuck like once you're hiding it moves and tries to kill you fuck the- <laughs> we gotta play a horror i think for your challenge on the we gotta start doing a fucking like a horror game for Halloween. is it oh, isn't fuck there yeah. like this new game that dropped out i don't know what's called it starts with a p but like I don't know. Everybody's playing it. Apparently, it's like really scary. And like, I wish we had Resident Evil Eight it. already. I would love to play that game. Yeah, we could play like shit, like walk through. But um, conspiracy theories. What else? Um, well, that's the biggest one. The Squidward Suicide. There was a Rugrats I, one. Well, I Baby always died, liked apparently. that one. Oh, there's a Rugrats one where apparently, what was the the older, the mean, the little girl, the blonde one? She's like older than the rest. Ange- uh, Angelica, Angelica or some shit. Angelica. Yeah. She apparently sense. she was like. The whole thing, she was hallucinating the whole time and that she's fucking, like, mental or some shit and that it's all an illusion. Yeah. That they're not there. Yeah. I mean, shit, let's go to, let's talk about Five Nights at Freddy's. Dude, uh, I'll play, <laughs> hey, I'll, hey, dude. We, Chuck E. Cheese. We gotta play that game, bro. We gotta play that game. I would love yeah. to play it. I was good game. at the second one. My game uh, is so fun. I like dude, the second I, one the most. Dude, we, we gotta play. I'm telling you, bro. We gotta play it. On your challenge, Jay, we gotta play a game. Yeah, we gotta we gotta do a live reaction to scary shit and fucking us shitting ourselves. Hey, Halloween hey, special? Yeah, of course. Yeah, Halloween special, man. We gotta do that. Hey, yo, hey, yo, Jimmy, when you when you gonna play me in Injustice, bro? Talk about this oh, 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 be I, I would I would beat you in Injustice. I got the best Batman in the fucking game. I'm like, have you seen me fight? You see me fight on there, right? On like on the videos, I don't it's fucking lose, man. Video. I don't lose on this shit unless they're like no lies. I have like level ten thousand, like the highest shit possible, and they'll beat me, but. I'm pretty. I think my record's like twenty, twenty and three or some shit online. So yeah, I guess. Hmm. I don't know if you beat me on that on that game. I don't know. I'm fucking. I'm, I was a no. I'm not a no life Christ. anymore, but I was. Nah, I tried so hard <laughs> at that, that was, game. Yeah, I was a fucking. The bad part is we can be no lives right right now, but we can't. This sucks. <laughs> we can be no lives right now, but we can't. What's what's this? Uh, okay, so do you guys believe in ghost? Casper? No, I don't believe in Casper. Do you guys believe in ghosts? <laughs> How you do, Casper? Do you like that, dude? Casper's always there, bro. Do you guys believe? Do, do you guys believe in ghosts? Casper, Casper, yeah, yes. kinda... Casper, Casper is there when you need him to be there, dude. Do you guys have any ghost stories? Any you have a ghost story. activities you guys been through? Have you? Since you're asking, have you? Do you have one? I want to know if you have. Yeah, I know. I, it seems like <laughs> you have one. Uh, Did some ghost touch you at night? We don't know about it yet. I mean, oh fuck. I, I, uh. I went, one day I woke up, my pants were off, and I was like, what the fuck? Man? Oh, like, shit. I mean, I do, I do have something guy, creepy that, that did happen when I was a kid, but I want to hear your guys' stories first. Yeah, do you guys have any? I want to hear about your story first. <laughs> my, said, mine's not that big of a deal. Down, man. <laughs> okay, fine, I'll say it. Mine's not that big of a deal, but basically, this is happened when I was in, like I think, elementary school. Uh-huh. And I was uh, in my mom's room, and it was like I was sleeping in her bed, and it was 3 a.m., and uh, over the bed, we usually have, like, headlights. And yeah. we also have this trash can with a bin top on it. And it was empty. So, you know, we're just I'm just kind of like, I woke up out of nowhere at 3 a.m. And 3 a.m. is the devil's hours. I found that out way later on. <laughs> and fucking, when I woke up, I don't know why I woke up. I was like, what the fuck? And I'm looking around. And all of a sudden, the lights turned on and it started flashing. And when it started flashing, uh, the top of this trash can, it yeah. came up and hit the ceiling. And it yeah. stayed there for about a good three seconds and fell down. And me, as a kid, I was freaking the fuck up trying to wake my mom up. And I was, like, being loud and shit. Like, it's, fucking, it's freaking out in here. Let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> yeah, and, and the lights turned off again. And apparently, though, uh, we find out later that a whole bunch of people died at the house. And I'm every fine. night, my dad felt like... Uh, and he thought it was me because he was always asking. He always uh, said... He went to me, like, hey, are you coming at night and touching my feet? And grabbing my feet and pulling on me, I was like, "No." Oh shit! So we we moved out of there. 
Do you guys have any? How about it? Doesn't. Does, do you guys have any stories that are just scary in general? It doesn't have to be ghosts, like home invasion or fucking. I don't know. Um, Shot myself when I was six. No, that's good. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> it's like I accidentally stabbed myself when I was well, three. Well, no, because I thought so. I, I thought I had to go to the bathroom and I scared myself and it came. You off. shot yourself? <laughs> yeah, I was. I went to the bathroom and I got scared and like because I heard a big bang and I just shot in the floor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I had a story when I was like it seven. Just, it, I was seven on my bunk bed and I was too scared to go to the fucking bathroom. So I just fucking, I just Shut fucking pissed. I pissed, my, I pissed myself right there. <laughs> and no! I went, wait, my wait, sister, wait. my sister was underneath and it started fucking dripping on her. She's like, what the fuck? I was like, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> she bro, woke you, up. Bro, you ever fucking like had to go upstairs so you turn off the light and fucking just run up there as fast as you can? So you <laughs> like, run up, like it wants to get the fucking bed down. Oh, I had another one I threw up. I just threw up on her fucking bed from the top. I was like, fuck it. I was like too scared to get up to fucking throw up. I was sick. Oh. But, yeah. Dude, I fucking... <laughs> So, I never shit myself though. That never happened to me. No, nah, it happened like at a fucking <laughs> random. I had, to, I had to go to I had to go to the bathroom. It's like when I was I think six and like I got scared and like cause I heard a loud bang. So I just ran to the bathroom and I fell. And then I was like, oh, I heard another loud bang. I shot myself. <laughs> I <don't know>. <laughs> <laughs> well, I pissed myself laughing when I was like seven. I was like so, laughing my ass. I was like, oh shit! So I was like fucking pissed myself. So what <laughs> <I> ended up happening? <laughs> so what ended up happening was I as that happened. I, I think it was with my friends. And they're like, what the fuck, man? I was like, oh god damn! I was like fucking. Coming out like a river. It's like, dude, you're still going. I can't control it, man. Hold it was like on. coming out my fucking. It was like coming out my fucking pants. It was like, are you are you leaking? I was like, yeah. I was like, fuck, man. Yeah. Uh, that reminds oh me to God. a friend. We were in lunchtime. Uh-huh. We were in lunchtime, and then she was like, yeah. We were like talking and everything, right? And then she suddenly be, she sneezed, and uh-huh. I was like, oh, I peed myself. I was like, dude, we're <laughs> we're in ninth grade. We're oh my in God. Grade. Dude, I remember one time I accidentally <laughs> spilled milk right on my genital area. My <laughs> genital. Was, uh... Wait, was that in high school? No, no, no. Oh, maybe. I don't know. I think it was because I remember. Yeah, there's a few times that, that this fucking happened, all right? <laughs> so I spilled milk right on my genital area, and I was like, shit, it looks like I pissed myself. What do I do? So I fucking, I even try to put like a fucking jacket there, but what I try to do is I go to the bathroom, and I, I, I get water, and I wet like all over my pants to be like, oh, I accidentally like spilled water on me. But dude, it is so hard to cover a spot when you like, it looks like you pissed yourself. Oh, like, fuck I, that. Everyone's asking like, dude, did you piss yourself? And I'm like, for some, I don't know, for some reason, I remember something like that happening. I don't know when, but like this guy, was, <laughs> he freaking spilled chocolate milk like they're, they're giving that lunch and stuff. Spilled chocolate milk. It was like walking around like his, his like legs wide open, be like, hey, yo, it's not what it looks like. And he's walking through the whole school, literally just through the whole school walking around. Oh my God. And everybody's like, "What are you doing?" And he's like, "It's not what it looks like." Hey, I swear. Hey, no, you want to know uh, one of one of the most embarrassing things I've done? Uh, I got ready for Crazy Hair Day. Went to school when it wasn't Crazy Hair Day. What the fuck? Uh, <laughs> I think actually, yeah, that fucking sucked. <laughs> the most embarrassing thing that's happened to me, it was a football dinner, and I needed to piss really bad. Uh, I started running home, and I didn't make it. I, I pissed myself running. I was like, "Fuck, man, it's too late." I was like, "Fuck, man." I know. But uh, we went to the pool that day, so no one, no one noticed. No one noticed. I was like, "Oh, did you go to the pool today?" I was like, "Yeah, it wasn't the pool." Like, what's you guys' most embarrassing moments? Yeah. Well, you guys have any just traumatic experiences? Yeah, in spirit, in spirit week. <laughs> I remember that. Yeah, in seniors, they didn't really dress up like well, not as much as yeah. they used to. Mm-hmm. And I dressed up as, I think it was Celebrities Day. I don't remember. But I think I, I dressed up as Britney Spears. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> but I was the only one on my AP computer science in there. Oh, and that day, we, you guys got, like, this guy. What was it? Dia Nueva? Oh, well, I remember. He was really cool. Yeah. Damn. It was pretty cool. And then he assigned us like really random like speeches. And mm. I was had and I ha- I literally had to stand up and you know oh, present. Man. And I was the like, one in the class with wearing that. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, okay. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah, Fucking, yeah embarrassing moments. Um I I imagine dressing up for pajama day at, on nineties day. Nineties no, <laughs> day. Uh oh. 
Anything else embarrassing? Not that embarrassing. Fucking besides me pissing myself in ninth grade, but <laughs> <laughs> I had my cousin one time, bro, because he was so embarrassed to meet this girl. He asked online to come through and I had to go outside and basically pretend to be into the chick that he was that he wanted me to be into. And I was like, guy, I don't want to go meet this girl. I don't know who she is. That's He's not sure. Yeah. So he said, Come through. I'm like, okay. So guess what happened? The girl, like who I thought was a girl, was a transvestite. Oh fuck! And I was like, and like the girl oh. he was trying, so the girl he was trying to get with was even worse. Holy fuck! So guess who had to fucking play along and shit, and basically uh. kind of like make conversations and shit. That was me the whole night. That's insane. So I made a couple. So I made a couple mistakes. I called the 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 girl a he a lot and a not a she, and she got fucking mad at me and yelled in my face. I didn't mean to birth are, is it? <laughs> it's like sorry, sir. It's like I'm not a sir. I'm like, oh shit, sorry, man. I'm not a ma'am. My name is, oh, you shit, said sorry. ma'am. <laughs> but uh, ma'am. okay, hey, <laughs> wanna know something fucked up that I did? Okay, so this was in elementary school. I think it was like around first grade when I was like fucking sent to foster care. I was kinda yeah. but fucking um so okay, we all make mistakes in our lives, you know, and <laughs> sometimes we don't understand things very well. So I didn't really believe in people who were allergic to things back then. I kind of thought it was cat. So <laughs> fucking this one guy, he's like, shit, I accidentally got mac and cheese and I'm allergic to it. And I'm like, well, how do you know you're allergic to it? He's like, just because they told me I'm allergic to it and I get allergic reactions. I'm like, well, maybe you're not allergic to it anymore. Go ahead and ask some. <laughs> oh, okay. No. He's like, dude, are you sure? I'm like, yeah, you'll be fine. <laughs> I felt oh. so fucking bad afterwards. Oh know, my god! I allergic reaction. I started throwing up everywhere. I was like, right, <laughs> I'm "Sorry, fuck." I felt so bad. It happens a bit. Yeah, then I went to him. I'm like, "Shit." Well, if you're allergic to something, you probably shouldn't need it. <laughs> oh damn! But um, I think last topic. I know Sam, you want to talk about this? Uh, games. So you do you have like a PS4 or Xbox or anything? Mm, no, I have a gaming computer actually. I mean, gaming laptop. Yeah, no, I wow. just got it. <laughs> You're gonna start you playing. Yeah, and I, I literally just uh, made a Steam account. Wait, so if you guys want to recommend League. some, yeah, Among yeah. Us. Hey, do you have Rocket League? Among, <laughs> Among Us, play that game. Everyone's right? playing Among Us right now. Everyone, hey, be hey, nah, you, you could get Rocket League, and it doesn't matter what console you have. You could play with PS4 and computer people. Get Minecraft play and online. play online. <laughs> Get Minecraft. Mm. I play Minecraft. Yeah, that's yeah. I like Minecraft. Minecraft. Actually, can't right you now. do the same thing with Minecraft? You could join people with computer. So. Windows Minecraft. Yes. Yeah, let's play some Minecraft. Yeah, we could all play Minecraft. Hey. <laughs> we could build. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna make a. Win, I'm gonna make a penis for it. Oh, honey. but um, games. Uh, PC. I don't, I don't know any PC. There's um. Minecraft in a while. There's a cave update, by the way. And I'm either. also playing. Fortress too, yeah. Team yeah. Fortress. If if they if you really want to, because they make everything for PC, you could even yeah. get like GTA and Call of Duty for PC. It's the same thing. It's just on the computer. Well, yeah. All, every game is basically on. Yeah, the- basically every game. You can play that. It's pretty fun. I mean, I know the graphics and shit are better on the PC and shit, but. It's like let's play Roblox. <laughs> yeah, play Roblox. It's free. Roblox. <laughs> Roblox is free. That's fun. I actually want to play Minecraft again because I heard there was a cave update to it. Club Penguin? I'm just kidding, not no, now. The cave Club update Penguin. is like not due for like a year. No, I heard oh. there's like an update that just happened. That's another update. Nah. Yeah. Yeah, it's getting like that sometimes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. If you get GTA on a computer on your PC, you could like do mods and shit if you know what you're doing on there. That would be That's fun. You could, yeah. Like, zombie mod, tsunami mod. You'd have fun hey. all day. Hey, I think Rocket League is free. I, I it is for PS4 at least. Yeah, it's for PS4, but not free for computers too. But if not, oh well. Yeah, anyway, Rocket League's fun. You guys should get Rocket course, League. Of course, of course, of course. Oh, play. I see that game. I am so bad at Rocket League. Bro, I am what? good. I am good at that game. I can you fly? Play. Yeah, I can actually. <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> but. <laughs> You should get a if you ever get a console, get a PS4 because PS4 is better than Xbox. Or wait till PS5. PS5. Get a PS5. Don't even waste your money on a console and a PC. Yeah, personally, that's true. Five is gonna be our best friend. But then you can play with us, though. I mean, you can still play like Minecraft with us, though. But, yeah, yeah. But if you really want to play with us, you have an Xbox, right? Leah does. Yeah, right, Leah. Yeah. So, so when you throwing that away? Whack! I'm just kidding. 
Um, when my friends don't play on it. When are you? Uh, when are you gonna get rid of it and get a PS Five? Never, <laughs> because it's not <laughs> worth it. I mean, I already have a PC, so like, what's the point of getting a new console when you can just plug in the controller on a PC game? But I mean, like, a hey, Resident Evil Eight. It's just like me. it's like playing with like a Game Boy that doesn't work. Yeah. It's on my switch. The thing bro. is, East. Esports as a whole is moving off of console play, so that's already gonna like make people want to get PC and like save up money for it. There, there was no, there was no real like big games for the Xbox this year, huh? Not really. No, that's because yeah, Xbox but, is whack. Well, because Xbox has <laughs> been whack since the 360, bro. When the 360 died, Halo was the only good uh, exclusive they've ever had. So. They had, yeah. well, they had, they had, they had a uh, Halo, Gears of War. Gears of War is okay. Yeah, dude. I used to do. I used to play a game. I played all of them. I played one, two, and three. I never got. Oh, but fucking uh, PS PS Four, PS PlayStation has like Game of the Year exclusives, like The Last of Us, yeah. fucking, fucking Spider Man, fucking. That's the problem. That's like PS Four. They need they they need to either get some. They need to get make some new games like <laughs> PS Five. Yeah, Microsoft. Yep. They'll figure something out. I, I, I think don't know. A, I feel like barely anything was even released on like consoles. In the it's just sequels years. and shit. That PS4, there was a, there was quite a few, but now obviously not. And anymore. now there's already a new generation of consoles. So it PS5. Really Wait, I think it was too early, man. They should have probably waited till maybe 2000, 2022 for PS5 because there's no point to get it. No one's gonna want to get shit now because dude, I'm not gonna get it for a while until there's more. Yeah, games I'm not. I'm shit. gonna wait for a little bit because I just well, I'm gonna get it on Black Friday. Yeah. <laughs> well. You, <laughs> When's the console drop? It's supposed to, it's supposed to drop uh, like, 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 like November third or twelfth or yeah, some shit like that. Drop, like, the pre-orders they're already like. Uh, That's what I'm saying. That the pre it's gonna be a while, bro. You might as well. I'm, well, for me, I'm gonna wait till hey, Cyber Monday. Hey, me. this is a, like kind of off topic, but back to Minecraft. What is your guys' Minecraft character? Yeah. Like, like what ca- like skin do you guys usually pick? I can Steve. show you afterwards. Steve. <laughs> I have so many. I just flipped through all of them. Dude, I you know what's funny? I only wear one skin and one skin ever, and it's the red panda. I, I just use the fucking the lizard or whatever the fuck the crocodile. Fucking crocodile. I made my own skin. <laughs> That's what I did. Oh yeah, I think on the computer you can make your own skin. Actually, yeah. I think you can do that on the PS4 yeah. now. Yeah, I think you can. Well, the thing is, like, you can upload the skin to your account. Oh really? Oh shit! I don't know why, but I've I've been that red panda for like ever since I played Minecraft, and I just <laughs> never want to switch it. And when anyone else is a red panda, I fucking murder them. Because that's my skin. <laughs> but, <laughs> no. But, um, because other people use red panda skin. Yeah, you uh, can be the red fox. That's the closest one that looks I'll alike. be the regular panda, black and white. I prefer black that. Black, maybe, but I, I, the red panda looks badass as fuck. Dude. But yeah, I need to... Yeah. I, I, I need to drop more gaming content on my shit. The problem with gaming, dude, is like gaming right now is so fucking saturated because everyone's a fucking gamer. That's now. true. Like my shit, yeah. honestly, the my shit has been obviously the live reaction got five thousand. Like the, I'm saying, man, like my my got to promote my Red Dead video because I can't. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh yeah, my combat sports shit is what pops the most. I think because people respect my my in, again my too. It's just like you just gotta find connections. I just put a bunch of hashtags for whenever I drop a video. Yeah, me too. Just just, like, just put a lot and then make sure it's just relevant to the video. And then just go from there because right now it's a we're in a tough uh you know competition because everyone's trying to become a YouTuber. And it's yeah, fun. like I want to I want to get clo- like connection eventually with like Luke Thomas and shit. I don't know if you, you guys probably don't know who he is, but he's like the biggest UFC, not UFC, but MMA like analyst. There's Chell Sonnen, the guy that fought John Jones a few years ago. Yeah, fucking uh, Brendan Schaub. It's like those guys are the, sh- yeah. the biggest. But yeah. um, Brendan Schaub, dude, if you can get with Brendan Schaub, that'd be dope. Dude, imagine you like he sees my shoes like hey check this guy out I'm like thanks brendan hey yeah, Ma- imagine imagine we get on king in the sting that was cool. oh fuck Ooh, Bre- dope, dope. brendan's like so you guys started from the bottom right I'm like yeah, yeah we did not right. working in the sting <laughs> like what's up theovan oh theovan that'd be sick to meet him fuck that fuck yeah. right now i'm just doing big with my reaction vids on the animation department but i'm trying to hopefully like switch up soon because i'm trying to do more animated like story vids yeah uh, i have there's a couple stories i want to tell on that but i have to get the setup i don't have a setup right now because yeah. i have a laptop and I, i've been doing word puzzles <laughs> word puzzles <laughs> but uh yeah i'm trying to drop more anime shit like maybe all all three of us we could do like a Naruto video you some video. Hey, have you guys seen your own anime filter what do you guys think of that? Oh, yeah, that's oh, shit. That shit's weird. That shit is weird. That shit look cute as fuck. And I Snapchat. bet I... That's kawaii, dog. That's kawaii. Oh, my God. It's, it's called... I call it, 
I call I call Snapchat the cap filter because it's all lies. It's all filters. Snapchat's yeah, not that big no more. I barely hear yeah. people talking about that shit no more. It's all about Instagram. I'm trying to lie to myself. Yeah, because when I look in the mirror, it keeps breaking. So yeah. I'm gonna try to do the best I can to get a filter on. That's Social cool. media is called cap media. It's all Just cap. don't be a don't don't be a IRL user, bro. Remember Stop the, the IRL, cap. You know the IRL users, bro? Our, oh yeah. God, yeah. They, they were fucking. They were ice, fucking uh, Renegon. Yeah, <laughs> there was there was like a Ice Poseidon. Asian Andy, I'm trying to think who else was. Oh, yeah, you yeah, look, look them up, bro. They're they're fucking. Oh, I know who you're talking about. Yeah, you know who they are, right? Asian Andy, Andy Milanakis, Brandon Hampton, dude. Like those guys were like big and back in the day. Now they're just kind of irrelevant. Like and... like yeah, they like died. Ice Poseidon, yeah. bro, used to be my fucking hero, but now he's just a fucking simp, and I hate his ass. His <laughs> simp. Asian what? Andy's more funny, bro. Look up if you get a chance. Look up Asian Andy. That dude's funny, bro. He has like the the 24 hour uh, streams where he basically just falls asleep and basically people start donating him money and they play a fucking background music and shit's funny dude fucking dumb <laughs> hey but, like yeah it's hella funny it makes money dude. do you guys think it's easier to make money nowadays than it was back then or harder if i would have started earlier like if i would have started earlier in my career i think i probably would be big now the problem is now i think you can still make money through the internet you just got to be entertaining that's the one yeah thing. yeah because yeah. i've just seen the guy post Okay, so now there's an internet famous guy just because he fucking sings one, two, three. Oh, yeah, I saw that shit. Hi. I think <laughs> he just sings the numbers. He got again, famous again, off it. Again, it's, it's just it's just popularity, and then you get to, like, the problem with this algorithm and Popeyes everything. Is, will I get famous? Yeah, it's just, you just got to figure out the niche. Again, too, you just got to figure out the niche through your YouTube channel. Like, for yeah. You talk about UFC and other stuff as well. Your music, that's what kind of gets you big. Yeah. I generally did music back in the day. I, the reason why I stopped doing it was because I kept getting hit with copyright claims. And yeah, that's just the only hard part. Yeah, it was just that's the only thing about I hate about the internet is you can't they're they're limiting you so much. YouTube has become so strict because they're trying not to get in trouble with many of these um yeah. you know, labels and sh- one thing I did yesterday or was it yet or a few days ago. Is because you know I like to go on adventures a lot. So I I fucking me and his friend we randomly drove to Big Bear and then we went to L.A. afterwards and we I went saw with, the photos. Yeah. Well, not it's not it's, it's a cartwheel, every- dude. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh I saw, yeah, I cartwheel, dude. You see that cartwheel? See how good I am? Yeah, I'm fucking athletic, wheel. dude. I could join gymnastics again. I'm just kidding. But anyways, oh. dude, so, I wish I was like big, like how it is now, dude. Because a lot of people are just blowing the fuck When I was a kid, because I had to fucking, I had to do it for uh, ta- taekwondo competitions. Oh no doubt, no doubt. Put my leg above my face. That that was hard. But anyways, yeah. Yeah. so we went to Beverly Hills, dude. It is like scary at night. I don't know. How oh to yeah, say. no doubt. I can like, tell you, it's scary. Everywhere, we're going. No, but like a lot of hills, rich area. But when it's like dark as hell, it's literally you're in a maze. Like if you don't have a map to get out, you're gonna get stuck in Beverly Hills. You're like shit. I can't leave the mansions. What do yeah. I do? There's a lot of hills. Is that really a bad I, thing? I, I think I saw a few internet famous people at, at like one of at Hollywood because like this guy he came out of limo and he just started screaming. He looked like Jake Paul, low key. But like, <laughs> probably would be surprised. Good <laughs> band. Is he? Oh. Well, you, next time I'm gonna go to LA, go to the Hollywood areas, and I'm gonna start doing something stupid, and then maybe I'll get a bunch of cameras on me, and become famous. I think yeah. the problem. Here's, 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 I think here's the one I'm, thing. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go streaking in Hollywood. I think that won't even get you big, dude. I feel yeah, like that won't is. get you big. I may, I may <laughs> no. make it to the news, but <laughs> then you're rich. Because I'm not gonna just streak there. I'm gonna streak in Beverly Hills, and then I'm gonna go to the Pierce Street there. If I do this every single day, like I think I'd be, I just gotta keep doing it. I upload maybe once or twice a day, but it does get tiring. Editing, yeah, every yeah. Day. I, I only, I post like a school. I post a couple times a week, but and again, yeah, go ahead. I haven't asked Sam this, but it's okay if you haven't seen it. Have you seen our uh, our fucking Omigo videos before? If you I haven't seen them, it's okay. Those are good, bro. Bring those back. Have you seen them? I haven't posted in one in a long time. Yeah, but... dude, get back on that shit. I think that to... was. I think that was the best content. Honestly, same man. Like, uh, that's what on your is. channel. Dude, everyone that says that. Thing. Jimmy, what's going on? I know. If dude, you haven't seen it, get... Sam, it's okay. But have you seen any of them? Like when we're we're just on Omegle talking I've... shit to people. A few, yeah. Yeah. A... Did you uh, guys, did you actually think that? Did you actually think they were good? Like with your on, you can be you can be an honest critic. When you seen them, like were they actually funny or not? Yeah. They're okay. <laughs> okay, I'm worried. But um, <laughs> but dude, that's how it is, man. You have to do like more content like that. Like, I have to. We have to. I but feel the like, thing is, I feel hard. like you have to do content that 
maybe you just need to do content that you don't really mess with to get big. And then once you get big, then you can, like, you know, do more of the content you really for, want to do. For me, because I do a lot of shit, so I like versatile shit. But honestly, the, the UFC shit, like, it's making me get bigger. But I know people that don't watch sports aren't going to watch it. I'm trying to satisfy them, too. But Omegle is just hard because, honestly, me, Thomas, John, we just have to be on that day or it won't be as good. We have to be on, on like, we like, like how you guys did it before you guys did it at night. And I thought that was pretty funny. Oh, yeah. that was when like, we were up to like one in the morning and it was me, saying, bro. me, Thomas, John, Sebastian. We were just talking shit. Those were funny as fuck, man. The night ones are the funniest ones. You do, if you do it during the day. But, but the first one that we ever did, the most popular one, it was actually during the day. It was just me, Thomas and, uh, and John. That one, we were just fucking funny that day. I don't know what was happening, but. The thing is on my channel, I post like skits and like stupid shit, but yeah. I want to post more skits, but yeah. like. And I started posting Naruto Naruto a- AMVs like the. Like, I'm saying, bro. Like we got, I think, like like we all of us have channels. We need to start. We know we're collaborating yeah. now, which is good. The thing collaborations, yeah. I should. Uh, yeah, do. collaboration is good. Like yeah. we need to start. You got I think, a YouTube channel? Yeah, no, on my own. Walk out the ball. You know what it is yeah. already. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> Wait, hey, Sam, what you do said. you have a YouTube channel? Oh, Sam, what do you have? A I... No, <laughs> you're not. What about what about you, Leah? Uh, soon actually. Do you, have a, do you have a stream account? I know. I know. There, there are some some projects. Um, in what would you What would you do for uh, YouTube if you had like What would your content be on? Just gaming. Yeah, simple gaming content. I want to make know. an OnlyFans account. Well, That's if you is. if you want, oh, man, I'll do that. I, will I mean, I mean, I'm gonna post me. Leah, if you if you wanted like our comedic talents, I mean, you need to get a PS4. To get our comedic talents, no, no, <laughs> you don't, you don't make console content anymore, dude. It's just, it's just not value. You know, you know what I'm gonna do? Go to I'm gonna make it OnlyFans and only post me eating fast food. <laughs> I'm gonna get many of you. Fucking mukbang, bro. You gonna make mukbang videos? <laughs> oh God. You yeah, wanna be like that one dude, Nick Avocado? That guy is like obese. He's gonna die. <laughs> I made a, I made a mukbang with John a long time ago, like last year. Stay eating out. Like, we're gonna take like something else, dude. Yeah, uh, dude. You don't want to be like that guy, no. Nick but, Avocado, bro. Uh, well, ever since uh, ever since the live reaction video where it's fucking smashing it, my shit's just people watch whatever like what I post. I get more sh- like more interaction quicker. I think that shit like popped, helped us all out. I was like, damn. Again, it's just like I talk, like I said, you guys did the right thing of uploading it. Like, when did you upload like a a, a day that night, right? You upload. Yeah, I have to, I upload right away. You have to, because that's the way the algorithm works on YouTube. If you upload the first day of a fight or main event, usually I get more traction than, because it takes two days. The first yeah. day is good. Second day is good. After the third and fourth day, nobody really watches that shit no more. I mean, I want to bring Omegle back, but we have to all meet up and be like yeah. on it. We have to do be it, on it that dude. day. We can do it. Like everyone, content. there's two sides of my audience. There's the people that only love UFC, and then there's the people that want to. Well, we make two separate channels. People do that all the time. I, mean, I could. Yeah. I'll keep it on there until you I get what? bigger. Yeah, the thing is, I think before make it a second channel for other stuff, you should wait to get bigger. For I want to get like the thousand in the thousands, and then I'll do that. But I mean, um, you're halfway there so far. But just yeah. like the one thing I will say, this is be careful because when you get your first thousand subscribers, you kind of get looked at more by not by fans but by mostly youtube youtube looks at your shit now because yeah that's true like i said i think you've already you've already had copyright things right oh uh, yeah fucking annoying, i've dude. gotten a strike already twice and i got pissed because I yeah I've, got, I've gotten two strikes too i've got one for strikes dude. fucking suck dude yeah. i only have uh like 160 something subs dude i need to fucking post more i really you upload on instagram content. if you upload on instagram it might help out too yeah, I, I feel, try to, but sometimes I forget. I, I do it every video. I do that. I fucking post it on Instagram. Yeah, I try to. Like, I, my goal is that my first goal is to hit 10k, but hopefully next year I'm trying to get to the 10k. Yeah, I'm trying but to you're getting it. bigger. Yeah, just keep I'm start posting. Hopefully by next year I have like hopefully like 5k. Right now I'm about to reach 1k. By the end of the year I'll have a thousand for sure. Again, too, but, like I'm saying, this is this is a group I watch now called Internet City. I don't know if you guys have seen them before. They're a YouTube like reaction channel. But mm. they're like they upload so much like funny stuff that you have to watch them. They're so funny. Dude, we and, gotta post more funny shit, man. Like Omigo and shit. Fuck. Yeah, we gotta post. We'll do it. We'll do it. We hey, hey Jimmy, it. we should start a series of, like something. I know. Like, I need to start like an Omigo series, and then there's even the other ones, chat roulette. But there's too much fucking dick on there. I can't yeah. fucking be on there. Well, you gotta blur it. That's why. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of. We went on there to record. There's too many fucking dicks no, on there. No, 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 no. Don't go on chat roulette because it's yeah. dick after. Yeah. It is yeah. not. 
You actually have to like, yeah, fuck that. But amigo, if we're on it that day, it's it's worth it. If people are fucking everyone that watches like this shit's hilarious. I'm like, I gotta post more. Like, yeah, I mean your last your vids are doing pretty good so far. Yeah. I haven't posted an amigo since fucking beginning of this year. I need to post another one. I'm uploading right now. I'm trying to draw the next panda because I was drawing it for Tommy. Tommy, I have your little red panda. I told you I was working on <laughs> you guys. Yo, I'm working you on your guy. You got a nice looking white screen right there, bro. Yeah, well, I know. I can let me see, let me <laughs> you have to wait. You have to wait. You have to do that for a bit. Let me see. You can see it now. Hold on. Oh, what? Shit. No, oh, I see your contacts. Your contacts. Not done yet, but <laughs> what well, sideways? But you can't see it. It's kind of like sideways though. But I'm working on it. Yeah. I have yours, Jay. Yours is gonna be probably be out in a couple of days. Tommy, I have your red panda. Probably but uh, oh, by the way, I had to tell you the could be fights at eleven, so we'd have to meet up early, like ten or some shit. Why oh is it so God. early? I don't know. I think because oh, that's a nice photo. I'll be there, and, and, I'll, and they're fighting in Abu Dhabi again, but they're gonna be they're gonna be fighting in the afternoon this time. So we're gonna be watching it in the morning. Fuck. So we'd have to meet up like at ten in the morning. <laughs> dude, I gotta beat up. I gotta be up, dude. You know what I'm be doing on Friday nights, bro? Drinking. Oh shit! Are you actually? Are you gonna try to make it for that day? I know it's early as fuck. Um, it's 24th, right? So I, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have this day. I mean, well, you can, I, you can I, drink I'll once probably, we get here. Yeah. Well, I don't know if who's. I mean, if there's a guy at the house that you know who's who lives there. I know you said it was Tom, and who else lives there? And, uh, Jaquan. Anyone else? No, oh, my dad. No. Oh, your dad? Okay. And, I didn't yeah. see your dad. I didn't see your dad last time. Was he there? He was in his room. Yeah. Uh, okay. Cool. Yeah. Um. But well, I'll be there. Though. Hopefully, John's there too. Yeah, we'll come through. I'll be sure. I just got. Yeah. yeah, he better come through, bro. He never shows oh, up. I swear to God. Yeah, he probably won't. But, but uh, I too guess busy flex, too busy flexing on their muscles. I mean, we could all flex if we wanted to, but we don't need to do that because we know. Yeah, I I'm dance, gonna, bro. That's uh, different. I'm over here fucking squatting three forty fives on each side. You don't see me fucking. I like, I was like, I don't, I don't need to show off because I already know. No, but um, uh, if you guys have anything else to talk about, I guess we could. But if not, we can end it here. No, nah, that's uh, cool. I think cool. so far it was great meeting you guys. Leah, thanks for coming back. Samantha, even though you're in Mexico, that Wi-Fi is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> you need to get it fixed. <laughs> um, uh, hopefully, again, we can all do this again. I would love yeah. to. Do, hopefully, you're trying to get more people, huh? I was so, trying to get Leah and Nico at the same time. Dude, both of them want homecoming. Hopefully, we can get more people because I do know. I don't know how, how, how much can we add people on this. Oh, I can add a shitload, I mean, but... Dude, it's Zoom. People I want to ask more guests. Like, I've asked Sam, I've asked Leah, I've asked Nico. I'm saying, man, we just... I've asked a few people. other people I said no. Too, it's like, you guys been hearing about these uh, YouTube allegations of uh, a gaming YouTuber that came out recently with a uh, mini lad? Oh, Maybe God, like, yeah. With the with the Van Osh crew? Yeah. yeah. Wait, There's so oh, many... Wait. Yeah, There's still more pedophile. stuff about Craig? Yeah, that guy's a pedophile. And, like, you know, he's getting... Like, he deleted a video... Like, cause he got he got so high. They were putting pedal lad, pedal lad, pedal lad, pedal lad. Oh my god! He deleted the video, and then you know, it's getting worse for that guy. But like, yeah, he, guys, hey. we've been talking, we've been talking for over two hours, so I guess we before, should. Hey, before we end this podcast, I'm, yeah. I'm proud of myself <laughs> fucking, you know, because I, I fucking saw one side of the Rubik's cube, just the one side, but I was fucking took a bit. <laughs> that but, took. Uh, right? Hope I you guys. Think- Hope you guys enjoyed. We gotta thank all the guests and thank Sam for joining for the first time. Hopefully we all uh, come through again, Sam. Yeah. Come through. Yeah. yeah, hopefully you come on again. But if you guys enjoyed, hit the damn sub button, the like button. If not, why are you, why are you still here? Um, but we'll catch you next one, guys. Peace yeah. out. Peace. Peace. Get it. Uh,